Hello Slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to fellow travelers. It was highly, highly requested. I really like Matt Bomber. We actually go way back. And by way back, I mean me watching True Calling in 2003 with my favorite Eliza Jishku. I don't know what to expect due to the request. It's now like heavily intrigued me. I literally just woke up so i don't know how i look right now but without further ado if you'd like to watch my more uncut reaction check out my patreon the link will be below i have a twitch letterbox down there follow me on instagram whatever but if you like the youtube reaction let's get into it oh, i love a beautiful neighborhood 1986 is this gonna have to do with AIDS? if it's pleasing at all Hopefully not. Careful. Hey, you beautiful boy. Hey, there's ice cream Man. in the kitchen. Tell your mother I said it's okay. Thanks, oh Dad. God. The last thing they need is more sugar. I haven't seen him since Magic Mike. How old is he now? We're all getting old. Jam. I don't know what amazing. Kimberly's going to do. Saying. She'll ship them over in the diplomatic pouch. She looks really Marcus? familiar. Marcus. Uh-oh. Bring him over to say hi. Yeah, I will. Marcus? Fuck. Marcus. When did you get in? Yesterday. I didn't know you were having a party. A little celebration. Congratulations on your new book, by the way. I've been meaning to write you. Can we talk? It's about Tim. How's San Francisco? Fine. When Tim heard I was coming to D.C., he asked me to drop by. How is he? How are any of us? I'm just tired of going to funerals. Tim's organizing his life. He wants you to have that. How bad is it? How long does I'm he have? I'm not a fortune teller. And you? No, so far. How about you? Me? It's not impossible. I'm careful. Careful? Is he with someone? He's had a couple romances. Nothing that lasted. Something kept getting in the way. Give my best to Lucy. Do you have a number for him? Tim doesn't want to hear from you. He asked me to make that clear. Why? You have a beautiful family. A beautiful life. I hope it was worth it. It's crazy that this wasn't that long ago. 1950. Oh, did they make him look older in that scene? Okay. They did such a good job by making him look older. I'm like, what the hell? Hawkins Fuller, you're at the wrong party. Your man's a Democrat. I'm neutral, like Switzerland. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you want? Is that Tim and Tim? To drink. You got some milk? What? I can't believe I literally thought he looked that old. That honestly kind of low-key scared the shit out of me. <laughs> milk. Milk? Milk. <laughs> To hockey, Lucy. We have a new president, one who doesn't want party line thinkers or fellow travelers. We will make America safe and strong again. <laughs> I think one of the most interesting things gays would do to be discreet but let other guys know, they would put a certain color handkerchief in their back pocket. You would know by the color or whatever if they were gay. How creative and sad. <laughs> Wow, it's really sad because they like look so in love. Oh my god, cruising. Is that him? He looks different. Really hot. That wasn't even a that was a, it's like a punch. God, it's been too long for me, guys. <laughs> Hit the GMs. <sighs> Such a man. The credit for Eisenhower's win belongs to Senator McCarthy and his campaign. Have a smoke. I'm Eddie. How about you? Milton. Okay. My friends call me Uncle Milty. I know a lot of I actually knew a really hot Milton. Guy, but that's not me. Okay. I got a I got a job at the State Department. Didn't have you pegged for the diplomatic corps. Yeah, you know, packing up offices, moving furniture. Lighter. What? You think I was gonna steal it? You wanna give me your number? Give me the lighter. Good night, Eddie. That oh. was fucking hot. Sorry. We finally broke through with this little town, Valetri. Slowly the Italians came out of hiding. Mothers, wives crying. The Americans are here. 
The Voice of America is doing for our allies what the 141st did in Belletri, and they need to remember that when they're doling out the pork in H.R. 3053. That I must avail myself of my rights under the Fifth Amendment and refuse to answer. Ms. Addison, I'll send over those tickets to the city series, won't you, darling? Of course, Mr. Fuller. The Voice of America lives to see another day. Good work. It's a worthy program. It'll be even better when they clean out all the reds. I'm running down to the commissary. May I bring you anything? You're a doll, but I'm on my way out. Sensing some lesbo tench. Now, don't be jealous, Miss Johnson. Don't flatter yourself. Listen, if Morton asks, I'm having lunch. I like her, I can so tell. She so reminds sure. me of Janice Ian from Mean Girls. I'm still not over that sexy scene. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh -huh. Yeah? Election night. That's the milkman. That's right. What were you doing at that party? You had to know someone. I worked on the New York campaign. I thought it would land me a good job in Washington. Any luck? I interned for three months at the Star. Hmm. In the mailroom. I have a degree in political science and history. I think I should aim a little higher, don't you? You've come to Washington to make a difference. Are you making fun of me, Mr. Fuller? Is this milk drinking a habit of yours? Yeah, what the actual fuck? I think my parents were milk. hoping it would make me taller. Tim Laughlin, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Tim Laughlin. It's Tim. So what kind of work are you looking for? What Stalin's plan for world domination? For or against? Gay. <laughs> well, now you are making fun of me. The threat of communism is real. Down, boy. I'm no red. I'm a war hero. Department the last two years in the Bureau of Congressional Relations. Did you memorize my entry? Give me your number. In case I hear of anything in the making the world safe oh God, for democracy. By the department. men's bathroom. Make it sound like a bad thing. I have to go, and you should be careful. Look here. Behind you. Don't stare. That is creepy. Park police. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, they have to hit their quota. Quota of... Of arrests. Oh. All right. Oh, job interview? It's noon mass at St. Joseph's. Perfect. I'll spend the afternoon picturing you kneeling in prayer. Oh. Must have been, I mean, obviously it was so scary being gay then, but like, to like bring it up to another guy, like, are you gay too? What if they were Awkward. Who's a Randolph Scott type sitting next to Cone? Gerard David Shine. Marcus? I always brought him on as an anti-communist consultant. Heir to the Shine family hotel fortune. If you're lucky enough to stay in one of their luxury hotels, you find this pamphlet, authored by Mr. Shine, and the nightstand by the Bible. Apparently the pamphlet caught Roy's eye. Mm, something caught his eye, but I don't think it was the pamphlet. McCarthy is sending Cohn and his sidekick to expose commie influence in our overseas library. Librarians have started burning books. Isn't the moment to take a noble stand against McCarthy. He and Roy could blow up your career. Me in the White House in eight years. Uh -huh. I can't think of a man who'd be better for our country. The hawk, Lucy's back from Europe. Wonderful. Sure she'd like to see you. Tell her I'll call. Poor Lucy. The unholy trinity. Look at Cone fussing over that boy like a newlywed. Turns a man's stomach. Speak for yourself. It certainly does. Some man for you. Hello? Mr. Laughlin. This is I, Mr. Fuller. Took me a few days to find the right job for you. Constitution Ave. Job's a junior assistant with writing duties. Jean Kerr. She works for your hero, Tail Gunner Joe. I don't know how to thank you. I'll work on that. Just remember, you've been recommended by one of Senator Smith's donors, although you think Smith is soft on reds. Yeah, he is. And watch out for Joe's hands. <laughs> An eager beaver senator could stand to improve his spelling. You have to do this one again. Oh. Sorry. Are you kidding? Go ahead. She tells me you're a good Catholic boy. I try, sir. You Don't try him. too hard. We know our sins will be forgiven, so you might as well commit a few. Ah! They're starting investigations in our division next month, and not a moment too First soon, if you ask me. Investigations? Subversives and deviants. Hello, is Mr. Fuller in? Do you know when he'll be back? I have something for him. Oh, I'll take it. You can give it to me. Look, Homeward Angel, Wolf's great writer. Will Mr. Fuller know who it's from? I wrote a note inside. You'll be sure he gets it. I promise. Thank you. Oh, and man, they just didn't see each other. Oh, he oh. seems very artistic. She's gonna read it. Oh, she's gonna like him. Oh, but she likes her. Your front door was open. I'm not allowed visitors. What do you mean? You're gonna burn that. Came by to see if you let me buy a supper. Could he you me imagine a him? Uh, that was to thank you. Looks like you're already cooking something. Oh what is God. it? Chicken noodle soup. 
Put a soda on the side. I really shouldn't go out. I'd say wasting a can of soup would be a venial sin. What if you were to let me kiss you? Would that be mortal or venial? Mortal. We're sweating. We gotta turn the air on. Pretty sure. The fan. Would you like me to kiss you? No, Mr. Filler. Yes. You like working for your hero? The Washington elite look down their noses at McCarthy. And I know his tactics are rough. But the Soviet threat is real. And so is the atomic bomb. I am happy working for him. And grateful. Maybe you could do me a favor. Let me know what you're asked to research. Keep your ears open. I didn't realize you had ulterior motives. Welcome to the capital of ulterior motives. It was my second year at Fordham. I belonged to the YRC. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> Our faculty advisor was Father Gallagher from the religion department. Not much older than I was. We both loved the church, the liturgy, the rituals. One thing led to another. When it was over, I asked Bob, that was his name, if he Bob thought Gallagher. God would forgive us for what we'd done. And he said no. He said God would forgive us, hmm. but he could never forgive God for making him what he was. Mm. What about you? Who was your first? Is this all right? Yeah. Thank God he gave it up. I'm proud of Tim for it taking this long and him talking first and not just like giving him what he wants, do you know what I mean? I don't know if I could have been that strong. Damn. Okay, my white t-shirt doesn't look like that on me. I gotta do something about it. Uh, amen. Pull them off. Damn, body. Trousers. I must have a feeling someone's gonna knock. Fold them. Fold them. Definitely be me. That was nice, Skippy. But you need a radio. Who's Skippy? That's why I'm gonna call you. Cute. Any particular reason? It suits you. Like the glasses. It really does suit him. <gasps> Not Mother Mary. Next time we'll turn her toward the wall. Yes, Jesus. Oh, great art direction. Now Oh my god, he looks so fucking handsome. I'm like gonna sim for him this whole season. Like, gross. I can't believe that true. I think I'm too horny for this show. Fuck. But five and ten cents thought you used to call me the top. The top? I feel like that was intentional. Ooh. This is Uncle Ronald, mm. the drunken, designated, hopeless sinner of the family. I think you're giving Uncle Ron a run for that title. Thanks to you. You love your family. And they love me. So cute. And the part of me that they know. You never talk about your family or your politics, what political party you belong to, if you believe in God. You never told me about your first lover or any of your lovers, though I have heard rumors. Do tell. Jean Kerr says you are unofficially engaged to Senator Smith's daughter, Lucy. And it's a scandal because you practically grew up in the same house. But now you're angry. I'm not angry. But I don't like being questioned like a witness at one of McCarthy and Cohn's show trials. It's normal to want to know something about the person you fuck. The person you fuck. It's normal to want to know something about the person I'm fucking. It sounds so ugly. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. I'm not engaged to anyone at the moment. First person I slept with didn't catch his name. I said first lover. I'm a registered Republican, but I don't vote because I really don't see the point. And I feel pretty much the same way about God. Skippy, I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. Not for God. The Skippy thing is so cute. Not for me. I mean it. I just want to know you. Can you show me? You know me. I want to know about the homos like me. How are you enjoying Look Homeward Angel? Immensely. Although I have trouble finishing a book before I want to start another. You seem sincere, Fuller. Don't... Oh, George, it's been a while. Uh, Mary Johnson, George Bowers. Which bureau is it, George? Uh, educational Exchange. Do you have a minute? Something I need to, uh... Why don't we step away? Sorry I've been out of touch. Being investigated. They had me followed and caught me coming out of the chicken hut. The chicken hut? 
Christ, George, even my mother knows that place is queer. I love Sylvie, and I adore my kids, but I have needs. If anyone should understand, it's you. Keep your voice down. McLeod wants names. Fred's a queers in the department. If I don't produce names, they'll go to Sylvie and tell her everything. W what am I gonna do? Give them a name. I, I can't, I wouldn't do that to you. Would you do that to me? Give them a name of someone with a low security clearance who can survive being banned from government work. I don't know anyone like Shh. that. Shh, think any of your tricks. I don't ask their names. I can barely stand to look at them. This is gonna kill Sylvie, just kill her. Hey, hold out as long as you can. I'll see if I can put in a word for you. You're lucky. You have all those war medals. You're bulletproof. Congresswoman Johnson. Soon to be ex-Congresswoman. Six years of Reagan has obliterated any last vestiges of liberal idealism I once had. I have a feeling you're calling about Tim. You still in touch? If you're thinking of seeing him, you should do it soon. He expects that you won't show up. And he doesn't want to be disappointed. Hawkins, we gave him age spots. He's not getting better. Our government is letting people die. I'm gonna give you his address. Thanks. Oh my God. Give uh, Phyllis my best. The kids want to know if you're ready for waffles. Do you want maple syrup or whipped cream? Both, of course, and I'm gonna eat them all before you get to them if you don't go first. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Small world, huh? You work here too? I don't. Oh, that's the I'm over at Commerce. Idea. I have a meeting upstairs. Do we know each other? Beginning. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Park? Remember? Gold lighter? I don't think we've met. You stuck up son of a bitch. <laughs> you know exactly who I am. I'm afraid you have me confused with somebody else. George Bowers, please. An educational exchange. I have a name for you. The president's oh engaging in a little... That's so like fucked up. up. We need to issue a statement before the president signs that damn order. It'll look like you forced his hand. I own the subversive cause that Eisenhower knows. Skippy, get in here. I heard something. How'd you find my place? You're in the directory. Hawkins Z. Fuller. I'd love to know what the Z stands for. Next time you call from the phone booth Zaddy. on the corner, can't get you a drink, I'm all out of milk. I'll have a beer. Zebediah. Zebediah? Don't start. Hey, give me that. There was an argument at the office about Eisenhower. Take off your jacket. The president is going to issue an EO. Executive order. Come here. And they're worried Eisenhower is trying to undermine them with. By taking the lead on the anti-communist crusade? Senator McCarthy wants to ignore it. Mr. Cohn thinks the smarter move is to make people think that they, McCarthy and Cohn, are behind the order. Any idea what the executive order's about? But no. What are you gonna do with this information? You gonna share it with Senator Smith? Only if I have to. I try to protect the senator from his own best impulse. I wanna go to the party. The Joes? You're not dressed for it. You don't have a date? I'd be with you. This is the real world. I'm your boy, right? Hmm? Wow, wow. And your boy wants to go to the party. How much does he want to go? Really bad. Not yet. After the party. I'm not one for a foot in my mouth, but I guess if it was his foot. Yeah. Open up. Oh, yeah. Now show me what my boy really wants. I suppose I could loan you a tie and a top coat. Find you a beard. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's true, Mr. Kennedy. Oh, Lucy's don't here. May I get you another drink? I forgot you about You are that. an attentive escort. <laughs> oh, no. A champagne, please. Keep your eyes on the bartender. I'll take you out later for some real fun. Fuck. Oh, yay. Yeah. Take us to this boy. This is Marcus. Don't tell him my secrets. He's a stinking, rotten commie journalist. And a damn good one at that. Oh. I'm a stringer for the courier. The black paper. I think it's printed on white newsprint like all the rest. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Relax. No. How do you know Mr. Fuller? We belong to the same club. Have the, have the two of you? We suited to each other. How? We prefer sex without emotional entanglement. Tim and me can't relate. You've been warned. Dad said you took good care of him the entire time I was in Europe. I did my best. You know he has plans for us. Poor Dad, he doesn't realize I'm planning to marry the richest man I can find. Where are we going? Someplace way more exciting. They say it's far heaven above. Wow, well, sick. I wonder what the very clearly gay people did. I hope you're gonna dance with me tonight. <laughs> I'll think about it. Hey, Buster, see that red light in the cash register there? 
that comes on, you better make 12 inches of daylight between you and your friend right here, and do it fast. Only takes three seconds for the cops to come downstairs. And you, you're responsible for them. Oh, they're being romantic. <laughs> you all right? I'm a little drunk. You don't gulp scotch. You sip it. Okay, Hawk, I have to ask you a question. What we're doing, or even a sin, I don't care. But there is one thing I don't think I could live with. Are you going to marry Lucy Smith? Christ. Hawk, what did I do? You're drunk, so I'll let it go. It's a fun night. We, we played a room full of Washington know-it-alls for fools, and we got away with it. It was sweet. But Skippy, that's all it was. Sorry. Make your coffee, I'll take you home. I committed mortal sins for you. Oh, here we go. I could go to hell. Hell's a fantasy, Skippy. Would you sit down? Yeah, I didn't miss it. Suit yourself. I don't know how you do it. Caring only about what you want. What gives you pleasure at any given moment? Here comes the sermon. I, I wish I could be Not like that. That I need to feel things, believe in things. You're the coward. Is he crying? Not me. Or sweating? Okay, romance dead. Breaking the fourth wall. Hey. Did you look inside? Have I ever in all these years opened your mail? No. Okay, she's it's from your travel agent, so I assume it's a plane ticket. Yeah, I have to make a quick trip, two or three days at the most. I know where you're going. I heard you talking to Mary. I wasn't trying to listen, it just happened. Does he have... Lisa's yeah. ugly. Is he dying? I don't know. Oh my god, it is HIV. Lucy, you're everything to me. If I was everything, you wouldn't be going where you're going. You'll need your raincoat. I think it's in the front hall closet. I wonder if she's cheating on him. Holy Mary. Going. Not saying I have a problem with that hey. at this point, obviously. Is there a particular sin weighing on your mind? Are you in love with a young woman? It's not a woman. Even for the gravest of sins. If you are sincerely sorry, God will forgive you and make you pure. And that's the problem. What is? I'm not sorry, babe. When I committed this sin, I felt pure. More pure than I felt in my entire life. So how can I be sorry for it? Thanks for coming. What do you want, George? I, love I cooperated. That. Use that name. They're gonna let me resign quietly. Glad it worked out. It, that kid, the name you gave me, they picked him up. Told him they were gonna open an investigation. Rocky tried to kill himself. Oh they had to God. pump his stomach. <gasps> they could still be watching you. Go home. Be grateful for what you have. How am I supposed to live with myself? Holy shit. The executive order that President Eisenhower will uh. sign tomorrow and the Washington, D.C. police sex perversion Elimination program. Habitual use of intoxicants to excess, drug addiction, sexual perversion. An investigation may be commenced based on an accusation by a fellow employee, even if the employee making the accusation prefers to remain anonymous. Mr. Fuller, thank you for everything. You are wonderful. Is she really Why worry about say those something? individuals? You don't claim they're all communists, do you? Skippy. Kenny. That was his name. My first. Remember, he asked. 11th grade. Played on the tennis team together. But you saw in my apartment. But I was with Kenny when he picked it up on our senior trip. You know, sweet Kenny. He loved beautiful things. The other boys razzed him about it pretty bad. It's when I started putting distance between us. I deserted him. I went into the army and Kenny signed up too. I think he was trying to stay connected to me somehow. Aww, Only I ended up in Europe and Kenny was sent to the Pacific. Oh God. He died on the beach trying to take Luzo. Oh, I have chills. Tim, I'd like to come up to your room. I want to hold you tonight, if you'll let me. Hall, I'm afraid. I imagine a lot of people are afraid tonight. I don't mean the executive order, I'm afraid of you. Mm, same. I don't know what to do. I'm petrified. What should I do? My advice, go inside, shut that door, and lock it behind you. Is he gonna do that for real? And walk to the door. <laughs> Can I do? Oh. Unfortunately, the lock is broken. So he's coming. Thank God, like, how, him holding all night, like, you can't turn that down. And he was just opened with him for the first time, so... He deserves one chance. Hello. It's Hawk. I'm in San Francisco. Took a trip to San Francisco. I'd like to see you. You were able to see me. Would this be a good time? Oh my god, I need, we need to see him. I'm scared. I know this is out of nowhere. Thought if I just showed up, maybe... Ugh, I'm really scared. Tim, Jesse. you there? I'm here. Tell you what, I'm gonna give you a number. I'd really like to see you. Oh, he's shaking. Think about it. Uh, I'll stay here and wait for your call. They're open all night, but 
I hope you won't make me wait that long. You have to call him, please. Oh, San Francisco is popping with the gays, right? I'm, I can't shut up about how handsome he is. His features are just so strong. It's like unbelievable. He could have played Ken. Whoa. Guys, I am so glad I listened to you. Whoa, this is really good. My predictions, I kind of said everything, but I think Miss Johnson and Miss Addison, there's going to be a thing between them, but Miss Johnson is going to probably be Tim's girlfriend. That George storyline was really bad with throwing that kid under the bus for no reason. Tim is me. I am Tim. I really relate to him. Skippy is so cute. Lucy, I feel like she's gonna be more than just like the stupid wife, if you could say that. I guess that's kind of harsh. We don't really know much about Betsy. So it's called Fellow Travelers. So I kind of thought there would be... I mean, I guess he just traveled, but I don't know. I thought they were going to go to Europe for some reason. Or, like, I thought it was going to be, like, very travel-heavy. Him, like, getting with guys, like, away from home. But also, is this, like, a book or something? Hmm. All right, I'm super excited. Let's get into episode two. What's it called? What was episode one called? Oh, you're wonderful. Cute. Oh, my God, only three episodes are out. Episode two, Bulletproof. I wonder if these are real queer photos. Oh, it is a novel. I knew it. Tim? Thank you for coming. Maggie, Tim's sister. Yeah. When you called earlier, I, I was surprised. That it was me? Yeah. Oh my god, Tim's sister. I don't sister. see it. Is he up for a visit? I don't want you anywhere near my brother. It's not between me and you either. Hey, darling. Why would I fly 3,000 miles if I didn't want to see him? I don't know. So you can say that you tried? Obviously, you know something about that cane guy. Well, another year older, and none the wiser, I'm afraid. <laughs> Many happy returns, son. Thanks, Hawk, for everything. Of course. Enjoy your night. Surprised you didn't make a toast. Have you become shy? Well, the men in Europe are much bolder. Let me help you with that. Here you go. He's gotten worse. I'll take care of him. Come on, Is her brother you gay? Save that for later. Your father's asked you to join him, and I'm telling you to do what your father asks for once. I guess you figure... Living off his money someday, maybe even living in this house, it's all yours. But I mean, there'd be pictures I would have worn my best tie. I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, I'm gonna need a stiff drink. Senator McCarthy, Miss Kerr, this is my friend, Mary Johnson. You can pick him, Tim. Lovely. Joe's guy, right? Is this your date? It's my pleasure. Mary's a good sport. I think she might be growing fond of me. She doesn't want to fuck you, Skippy. She likes women. Called it. I'll keep plugging away for another five years or so. Until I get posted overseas. If you're as any over there, when they call me back, I'll quit. By a villa, someplace in the water with a nice view. Mm. Where I can eat what I want and fuck who I want without anyone giving a damn. That's top secret, by the way. I'll take it to my grave. What about him? That kind of bummed me out. <laughs> he fell asleep. You need to get going. Oh, shit. God damn. How are we gonna see you again? I'm gonna look outside and make sure it's clear. Take the stairs. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <sighs> Something bad. <gasps> Paperboy. 
I think we're good. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. The M unit has dismissed or forced the resignation of twice as many federal employees for homosexuality as our counterparts have for communist leanings. We've begun issuing summons to those reported or suspected. I don't know why you're not more concerned about this. And I am not talking about the future of democracy. When's your next date with them? Best ride in the 20th century. Who? Langston, 1938. Do you know who Langston Hughes is? I know who Langston Hughes is. Yeah, you should read some of this. Langston now, y'all remember. Hughes. We can barely afford rent to the stage. To the stage. To Buddha. To and you're behind too much. Buddha, Buddha. If I had a plum gig in the Senate, I would tell you. Know, you know. No Langston Hughes is on the front lines today, facing Cohen and McCarthy. Except they might find something on that one, though. The last thing we need is black men spitting on our greatest poet. Mr. Hughes, at any time in your life, did you desire to make the United States of America Soviet? Mr. So Cohen, what is Mr. your next Cohen? move with Cohen? Hughes providing no name? The communists are waging war on our way of life, and we will keep fighting them with all that we've got. If you're such an <laughs> avid anti-communist, why aren't you in Korea shooting them? How about a question from a real reporter? New York Times. Uh, Mr. Cohn. Tasty. Direct challenge. My parents would be so proud. Does it bother you that they wouldn't be? Proud of who you really are. Try not to think about it. There's really not a lot of lesbian representation shows. Like, there's always gay shows or movies that are set in this time, but I think there's a real lack of lesbian storylines in this era. For most of my life, I thought I was going to be a priest. Yikes. That went out the window with, well, you know. I'm happy she knows. I think Hawk's angry with me. I made a mistake, and I should have been more careful. Wait, what does he matter to him about? Hiding a part of yourself and killing it are two different things. Hello. Hello. Will you come to my house tonight? I'm having some friends over. That's fun. Cute. I'm hoping, you know, he'll call. I'm gonna write down her address. Is it Addison? I feel like it's not. Addison's fucking shady, actually. She's gonna We're be all full up. I'm with the, the Pittsburgh Courier. I've been here up. for every session. There's nowhere for you to sit. There are times you need to keep your mouth shut, my friend. The committee. Oh, oh, I guess I'm in the right place. Come on in. This is Tim, Caroline, Gloria, Luis. You live together. Why shouldn't we? The neighbors just think that we're roommates on a budget. Uh, though I'd rather you didn't mention it to Hawkins. Because he wouldn't approve. We're all allowed our secret. Oh. Huh. Oh, he's experiencing like genuine friendship. Why is this so sweet? Tim tapping tonight. Wow, oh, so sweet. That was a fun evening. Mary says you're Catholic? I am. Or was. I'm not sure where I'd land now. Do you, uh, do you miss it? I miss God. You? I have God. Oh, I, I thought you... I am. Then how do you manage... I'm celibate. I made that choice a while back. You have to decide what matters most to you. This is where I turn off. Good night. This is coming from a good place, but that's such bad advice. The soul within me, buddy. You're prettier when you smile. Fuck you. Guess we could go another round. We'd have the same old argument. I don't bottom. I knew he was going to say that. Now you're mad the place is integrated. Mm -mm. Can't call it that if the door only opens one way. At least Cohen only likes some big, dumb, and white. So is shy. What do you know about him? Silver Spoon who wants to be a hero. It's hard to do when you're 4F. Might look into that. He's out of New York, right? Mm -hmm. What about you? You need something, baby? Sure, I'll have Rico. Variety is the spice of life. You know Tim is a good guy. I know. Is that why you're here? With Tim, it's not easy. Mm. This is. Know what the difference is between you and me? Aside from the obvious. Sometime, somewhere, I like more than this. I'm so glad you came. Come say hello to the family. Hello. Hello, hello. everyone. Hello, Hawk. I'm afraid your father's asleep. You don't have a bag. Yeah, I won't be staying long. I've been busy. You know, it was a long drive. I wouldn't mind resting my head for a bit, if that's all right. Harriet tidied your old room. Please, enjoy your tea. Have you been in touch with Hawk? I'll answer your question if you answer one of mine. You see David shine in the flesh on a regular basis. So? Does he show any injury that look like a 4F to you? He works for my employer. Who I happen to admire. I saw Hawk the other night. David doesn't limp. Play squash three times a week. Last time I saw Hawk, he was at the cozy corner looking for trouble. Which is what you'll get if you don't let him go. Senate Affairs. She gives me such a bad vibe. Mary, it's for you. It's a young lady. She says it's important. 
Yes, bye-bye. Is everything all right? Fine. I'm going to run these down to the mail room so they go out today. I don't know. No. It, it might have been a, this fellow in my office. He kept asking me out, and I kept saying no. And so men, they don't like hearing that. Oh, so scary. Just a moment. Your father's away. I love the name, Estelle. I knew it would bring you back. Me dying. Actually, I've been wanting to come home for some time. If that's true at all, it's only because of your mother. That was my mistake. Letting her make you a mama's boy. <coughs> Are you in much pain? You were good at a lot, son, but you were never good at concealing yourself. Has it changed? It's never gonna change, Dad. Have you? I'd say so. Then you'll be getting married and having children. Of course. And all that remains is your apology. And I'm to apologize for what? For having no shame. For making me endure rumors about my homosexual son. For me walking in and having to see you on your knees to that boy, Kenny. <laughs> oh my God, it's so scary. I'm sorry that you're dying, that not a single fucking soul gives a shit, and that you didn't knock first. You're not getting my money. <sighs> okay, so she definitely knows. I assume this means you're not staying for dinner. I'm sorry, Mother. An apology. You see how easy that was? I should have convinced you to leave him. You couldn't have. I was a grown woman. I knew what I was doing. This is what I wanted. The marriage was the way for me to have it. May I have one of those? I dare not smoke in front of your father, but with his condition. So that's why you stayed? That and the same reason that you never do. It's easier. There is someone now. I'm glad. Good. I have chills. What are you- The lock's still broken downstairs. Where have you been? Doesn't matter. I'm home now. He stayed the night. It's like Wesley Smith has found his nerve. Take it easy, both of you. We can handle Smith, even the most righteous among we us. We gotta get back to 1986 with Maggie, Tim's sister. I forgot Says how that up. ended off. And who was the guy with the freaking cane? I'm not over that. David is loyal to you, sir, and to the cause. He doesn't deserve to be attacked by your enemy. Smith's got a skeleton in his closet. You just have to find it. So you sleep on the sofa then? Yes, sir. Since Mary has the bedroom, I pay less for rent. It's a full mattress sagging on both sides. My mother and wow. father gave me their old bed. The blue sleepwear appears mannish. Whose is it? Mine. There's not much in the way of cosmetics. No photographs, no scrapbooks. We don't have time for that sort of thing. We're both dedicated to our work. I'm shitting We're done for now. Hands. Thank you for your cooperation. Call us if there's anything else we need to know. Your yeah, interview's being scheduled. We'll that. And so you're aware, Miss Stewart, we may have questions for your family and your co-workers too. Oh my god. I, I, it's actually fucking so scary that this is real. Like, imagine I was being questioned about who I am. Like, that is just so heartbreaking. And this poor girl. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Oh my god. Are they gonna come in the house? Like, they're, they're right up. The door's yeah, locked. It's too soon. No, get up. I'm so scared. Oh. I, I had to come to get in here. What the hell's going on? Mary has a girlfriend, Caroline. She works at the State Department. They live together. They really love each other, Hawk. Some fella she works with reported her out of malice. It doesn't matter how she got their attention. She did. And now? She's screwed. We're both screwed. You sound angry at them. What they did was dangerous. You understand that? For God's sake, living with some. I thought Mary had more sense than that. How do you know they live like, together? When you were avoiding me, can you help him? He's them? thinking about himself right now. Ask your boss or Senator Smith. Here, sit down. Write this down. Just write. You have to. I fell for you the first moment I laid eyes on you. This is so right smart. Away, I was taken by your beauty. Because it's going to off track name. her and they're going to act like they're together to make this to touch you. But Caroline's going to need someone. If something happens to her, I'll kill someone. Feel your body against mine brought me more happiness than you could ever know. I know you love me, 
But I've always known we have no real future together. I can't do this. You broke the rules, Skippy. I don't get it. You went there, you palled around with a bunch of queers. You're practically on record. Do you realize that? Just now hearing about it. You keep writing. You're not being Catholic is a problem for me and for my family. I don't mean to hurt you, but I think it's better for both of us to part ways. Why? I'm really confused. With affection, Tim. You slipped that under Mary's door and refused contact with either one. They are my friends. They are liabilities. I'm thinking that he is going to help them. He really is just thinking about himself because by acting like they're together, it's, I guess people aren't stupid or that's a known thing maybe at this time. So like now by getting with her, it's also putting him into question. Him being in question connects Tim to Hawk and Hawk already has his own homosexual rumored past. So I guess, like, he feels like I've been down this fucking road and, like, that's where he's coming from because this is basically, like, life or death. Oh, my God. If it's any consolation, it throws the heat off you both. Mary can use the letter to clear herself, pin it all on Caroline. <sighs> she loves her. She would never do that. She would never Watch do her. that. No. That's what I was saying, like, Caroline, I mean... She just looks like a lesbian. What are they gonna do? I'm so scared. I don't understand you. I don't understand us. Come on, you don't have to go. As long as we're careful. You mean stay for an hour for sex? Senator Smith is on McCarthy's enemy list. They're gonna try and find something on him. And that is the last dirty thing I'm ever gonna do for you. Fire. Sweetheart, I'm sorry I missed you. Listen, I'm on standby for a flight that leaves tomorrow morning. I love you. Oh. We're back. Perfect. I do want to catch up here. Oh, no. He should go test him. Is that what's going to hey, bring Tim to see him if they're both positive? When was the last time you made a really big mistake? I'm on a date, but I could be free later. I'm not about this Curious culture, about guys. Something. I take care of myself. I'm young, dumb, and full of calm. Take care of yourself. <laughs> they look like such a Jewish vibes. Like, I mean, that's the point. That's why it's funny. Oh, you coming in? Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be the cliffhanger. Doors oh, open, Maggie. Be... Oh my god, I'm so sad. Why am I sad? I love Tim. I have chills. Why does this have to happen to him? Well, we both know my eyesight is terrible. And maybe the dementia is setting in, but I think Hawkins Fuller is standing in my apartment. Hi, Skippy. It's so sad. Don't be though. afraid. This isn't going to be a fairy it's tale. It's not airborne. It's not a fairy tale ending for them. This is the ending because of yeah, the times. So thank God we figured this out. Is he staying for dinner? If he wants to. No, it's okay, Tim. I was very much in love with Tim, but he broke up with me. And I'm only showing you this because, well, Again, I think... Again, it's life and death, and maybe Caroline... Caroline may have been part of the reason why. How so? You're actually gonna talk shit? Tim kept shit? trying to warn me. When we were intimate, he said he thought there was something off about her. Like, I didn't think she was gonna... a few times, but... <sighs> I didn't listen. And then after... I am horrified. ...your visit, I confronted her about it, and... Like, this cleared her name so well. I just don't understand why she has to go the extra mile to point out. Like, to make up these things about her. Like, she has enough on her plate. Okay, stop. She admitted it was true. That you had no idea prior. None. She went back to her parents' home in Ohio. This okay, so since she went to Ohio, is she okay because she's, like, in Ohio? Maybe I jumped the gun with that. Marcus Gaines, Pittsburgh Courier. What's all this about? You should have been chief counsel, not Cohen. Everyone knows that. What's your point? Mr. Shine, who resides in New York, somehow managed a 4F classification in California, where his family owns the Ambassador Hotel and has a few local politicians in their back pocket. I've done the research. It's all in here. Why are you giving this to me? Because my paper doesn't have the power to tackle this. And you do. It's over, is it? Well, this part is. You can turn it off. You're on McCarthy's enemies list, sir. I got nothing to hide. We all have something to hide. They can't hurt you. They'll go after someone close to you. So what are you suggesting? McCarthy's not invincible. 
He's got three weak spots. Ooze, Cone's ego, and the utter uselessness of David Shine. I just need to find some ammo to speed it along. I wish you didn't have to get your hands dirty so that mine can stay clean. It's the least I can do. But someone asked me the other day why one of the most eligible bachelors in town hasn't married yet. Well, I couldn't think of an answer. He just wants to have fun. He's not looking to settle down. He's focused on his career. <laughs> oh, the 50s. <sighs> you all right? Makes me think twice about bringing children into a world like this. I'll make a wonderful mother. I don't know about that. You'll this is so messed up. Stand up for them. This is what led to really? the marriage. Poor Lucy. You get one life, like, poor Lucy. Nice story. You read my paper? Drag queens can read. What's your favorite Langston Hughes story? This is for the kids who die. Black and white. Oh God, them for kids together. who die. Yes. I'm the old and rich it. will live on a while as always eating blood and gold. You're a very interesting man. Interesting's a liability these days. I have been interesting since the age of four when I put on my sister's pink silk slip. That didn't go down well in Tennessee. Do you know any more of that poem? The whole thing by heart. Oh my god, such a match. Maybe now there'll be no monument for you, except in our hearts. But the day will come. You are sure yourself that it is coming. And black hands and white hands clasped as one. A song that reaches the sky through the kids who die. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been four months since my last confession. What do you wish to confess? I've had carnal relations with a man. He's gonna be celibate. Are you truly sorry for this sin? Yes. <sighs> Next episode's called Hit Me. Marcus and Frankie here for it. That was a lot. That was definitely a lot. I think I came a little hard at Mary in the moment, but I think that they talked about that. And I guess for the fact she went to Ohio, they don't care. So I guess they had that heartbreaking conversation. Like I don't think we're going to see Caroline anymore. Maybe she'll come back. I hope. I kind of see Tim and Mary faking a relationship. Um, I like hope they don't, I guess, but I don't know. All right, guys, thank you so much for suggesting this show. I really wasn't going to react to it, and I'm very glad I am. Thank you, guys. I will see you on the next one. It's Billy Bitch. <sighs> Hello fellow Slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into the next two episodes. This was not in my plans, but so glad I ended up reacting to this. It is so good. I'm honestly a little cringed. I'm not really that good on the politics section you may have noticed i kind of cut out a lot of that and it is important and i suggest you guys watch that shit no not shit but like you know i'm excited to travel through time and not literally doctor who fans i started reacting to doctor who i'm excited to see if we perhaps time jump a little more we have a lot of cliffhangers we have a lot of randomness like that whole george situation it's time we check back up on hawk and tim well for me anyways before we get into that, if you'd like to watch my more uncut reaction, check out my Patreon. Link will be below. If you like the YouTube edit, let's get into it. Like snow on the beach. We are both fucking beautiful. I want to see that pic. Plural. You took that. I remember. Ask and you shall it's receive. Road trip. We need to change that bandage. Yeah, I'll do it after my shower. Go to your movie. Thank you for dinner. No, I think she likes me. How long are you staying? I'm booked out of here early in the morning. A lot going on at home. We're moving to Milan. Finally got that European posting. Congratulations. It's not the vibe. I was wondering, why is he here? Do you know? To like see Your sister thinks I want to ease my conscience. You'll need a few centuries in purgatory to do that. Well, that won't work. Oh God, what's coming up? I'm Presbyterian. We skip purgatory. Go straight to hell. <laughs> yeah. It's Kaposi sarcoma. Some weird cancer only old European men are supposed to get. My friends and I debate who has the best chance to survive, the ones with KS or the ones with PCP. Doesn't have HIV. Is it bad that I just they assume say that? If you have lesions and PCP, it's a matter of months. PCP. I 
don't know these terms, guys. Have you had PCP? Have yes. Had PCP. You guys gotta educate me. Yeah, use your bathroom. Through the kitchen. This is suck. Oh God. We must beware of these communists and queers who are not worthy of the confidence of the American people. The when you God. really think about it, it's so insane how much it bothered people or people care and still to this day. It's just so weird. I really hope we do get to a day when it's just so normal. I think it will, but it's gonna take so much more time. Like the Gen Z plus need to take over. Oh, or Gen Z minus, actually, right? He's as long so as I am in the handsome. Tenet, that your source is reliable. We serve together. I trust him with my life. Well, we don't want to destroy a man because he's made a mistake or two. There you are. He's all mine tonight. I'm dragging him to the symphony. I can't Hello, get him Lucy. Hey, we'll speak when I'm back. Are you going out of town? Yeah, it's an old army friend. He's not doing well. What was that for? Tolerating Ravel. A couple years ago, an army corporal sent a letter to Senator Benton. Big McCarthy critic. Went down in flames in 52. Exactly. Described an alleged incident with McCarthy. Benton lost the election and never followed up. Where's his corporal now? Selling himself in Rehoboth Beach. Mm, last place to spend a weekend. You going alone? I am. But that doesn't mean I'll be alone. A few rise on you down there. On the house, handsome. Here's Love them. <laughs> Seen Tim lately? He walked out my door, mm. slammed it behind him, as I recall. Apparently, I offend his sense of morality. And now that you care, but you miss his birthday, he noticed. It was many years ago. Did you sign them? God oh, bless you, son. Yes, sir. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sign them, but I work in a warehouse. I load supplies from trucks. Do you think a person who belongs to a communist organization should be handling our nation's military supplies? I don't know. I take a box. Sometimes I take a box from the warehouse. I put it in the truck. Is it true that your mother passed away yesterday? Yes, sir. Is it possible that your distress and your tears have been caused by that loss? Yes, sir. I am very distressed about it. Take this to Senator Smith, please. I see you've been promoted. I need to speak with this young man on a very urgent matter of national security. Would you mind? I've decided to forgive you. Forgive me. You haven't called in three weeks. Four. I'm going away for the weekend. I hope you enjoy yourself. I will. If you join me. Yes! Sorry. That letter you made me write, Mary, was the ugliest thing I have ever done. Shh. It was all for the best, wasn't it? We're still employed, including Mary. I am so sorry to hear about your aunt's passing. I hope she didn't suffer long. I want to spend the weekend with you. Meet me on the southwest corner of Independence and 3rd in 15 minutes. And happy birthday. You know you go in. How's it Skippy. going with the Italian communist? Cowards always cry when they get caught. His mother had just died. Don't waste your pity on our enemies. Christ says we should love our enemies. What has gotten into you? Am I like crazy for siding with her? I'm Italian number one, so I can say I don't this. <laughs> Shut up, Blake. But that was some shady shit. He didn't even know what he was doing. Like you want him like handling stuff? I mean, I don't know the consequences. Like let him off with a warning sure but like let's not act like that is safe or okay what he did i don't feel well i should go home that leaves me in a bit of a pickle we have a I'll big come in day early monday and catch up this is nice can't really wish i could let's get going don't you got to interviewing someone about the transit union strike don't expect him in a pulitzer but it's a paycheck yes i hope this isn't too forward if you need a break from wallowing, come to our show tonight. Duke's a foggy bottom. That's a white club, and I don't think it's queer. Do I scare you? How would you scare me? Well, for one, I'm not exactly like the studs you used to leave the bar with. I'm a man who likes to fuck men, and I don't apologize for it. Sorry if that came out a little rough. Welcome to the famous Nomad Bar. Glenmore and soda and a sea breeze for my friend. Am I right up? You'll love this drink. Is this my birthday present? No, like, what? It's more like an education clientele or DC professionals who can afford a weekend away. If you're safer out here, a hundred miles between them and Hoover's agents and McLeod spies. What about the rough train? They'll offer to blow you for five bucks, but 50-50 they'll just beat you up and take your wallet. Mm. Why would anybody take that risk? It's the risk that makes it exciting, Skippy. No. Here you go, John. Can't really. <laughs> you find it exciting. Cheers. Good question. <laughs> Hey, Skippy. 
Hey, I'm either really good at this or really bad. There's no in between. Let me take a little stroll out back. For what? Just Who are you? Me. Hey, I gotta take a little walk. What? Just an army friend next door, Bill and I are helping out. 20 minutes tops. So he's gonna ask for him. Seems scary. Nomad a lot these days. You're sure he has the goods? He says he does. Daniel! Breathing. He's not dead. Turn it off. Wakey, wakey. Corporal Cherney, I'm Sergeant Fuller, Bill's friend. Snap out of it, Corporal. We need to talk. Talk. Goofballs. There's something about this generation in white tees that are just perfection. Ooh, wet t-shirt contest. Stop. Stop. That puts some salt in warm water. We need to coax the pills out of him. I hear you got a story about McCarthy. I need Roy, and he needs David, so... Do you know how the East Coast elite refers to the three of you? I have a feeling you're about to tell me. Bonnie, Bonnie, and Clyde. So I'm mm. Clyde in that equation. You, Roy, and David are all bachelors? Have you thought about that? Cross my mind. You won't have to worry about David much longer. Someone managed to get his draft status changed from 4F to 1A. Guys, I don't know these fucking terms. If Mr. Shine is drafted, which I expect he will be, he'll be inducted and treated as any other soldier. I can't be drafted. An enlisted man living in the barracks? I won't let that happen. Thank God I'm too oh, old to get drafted. Have to. I have to. <laughs> What's the matter, Dave? You can't help a friend when he needs you the most. Oh, Bonnie and Bonnie. Wave, where are you going? New York. I have a date. A new girl? It's a yes, man, baby. Boy. Tits like you wouldn't believe. And her face is perfection. Will do anything for me. Yeah, let's get back to Tim. I love how everyone just meets each other across the bar. That happens to all of you guys, right? Every time you go out. Oh, the bathroom. Cruise time. Hello. Good shot with the mirror. But like, I don't understand these gays. I really don't. I shouldn't have done that. Why not? He's with Hawk, but I'm with someone. He's not with him, so I guess it doesn't fucking matter, right? Been sitting by yourself. Guys, this show is a little triggering for me you if you didn't notice. Not that I fucking experienced this to this extent, obviously. I'm sorry. Back off my Tim. Oh, he's still here. Like, what is Tim thinking? That's evidence. Do you have any idea where he might hide it? I mean, I wouldn't no, trust him somewhere. going with a man anywhere. Oh, good. Good, good, good. What is it that we're looking for? Hawk! Shit. I would have spied on him a little more. I'll be back tomorrow. Skippy! Hey, Skippy, just stop. I don't like being spied on. I don't like being abandoned. Who was that? It's a friend of Bill's. The kid's having some trouble. Will you get out of the street? I had some business. I didn't think it would take long, and then you and me could we could we could what? Fuck like rabbits comes to mind. Tim, what do you want? I want to be with boing, you. Boing. Okay, let's go inside. No, no, I want to be with you. Sleep in the same bed with you all night. Not get kicked out at midnight so the neighbors won't see me leaving in the morning. I want to eat a meal with you like other couples. We have never eaten in a restaurant. Men do eat in restaurants. I could be your cousin. Hey, Mister. She is my Nephew. sister. From the poor side of the family. Obviously. <laughs> Nephew. Here's your key, sir. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. I mean, I wish he had him explain himself a little more, but... Hey there, sweetheart. Okay, so this is a time jump. You okay? Hey, Jenny. Grab that best to go, okay? No, don't come in! Do not come in! Get out! Get out! I'm gonna help you up, okay? Ugh, so sad. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. Right. Oh, oh, God. What do you want, Hawk? You come here looking for forgiveness? Because I don't have any left to give. I'm too angry to forgive anybody. I need to see you, Skippy. That's all I know. Just go right. wash your hands. You need an AIDS test. I don't have any cuts in my hands. I'm not talking about my blood. Just in general? I'm talking about your life. Oh my god, he's never gotten tested. What the fuck? Name please. Marcus Gaines. You have a reservation? Yes, sir. Oh, the white club. I don't see you. Uh, one of the performers put me on the list. Are you alone? Yes. Let me see if I can find something for you. Just one moment, please. Don't embarrass <sighs> me, Marcus man. I love Marcus. He's the only one that, like, gives me peace on this show. Congratulations on your birthday, sir. Thank you. My uncle is treating me to dinner. 
Don't overdo it, Skippy. You're not a convincing liar. Maybe you should give me some lessons. How did you end up at the State Department? I came out of the war with four assets. Degree from Penn, heroes, war record, mm -hmm. no particular political ideology, and a passing acquaintance with three languages. Throw in a talent for prevaricating and it. And what are you looking for? Complete personal freedom. You mean not giving yourself to something or somebody? If you want to see it that way. How does Lucy Smith see it? I'm cutting you off. Sing it to me like you do at home. Can't. It's our anniversary. You won't admit you love me. And so, how am I ever to know? I love this. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, how perhaps, getting embarrassed. And then, for again. Always I'm gonna answer. add this to Apple Music. So if you really love me, say yes. Or if you don't, dear, confess. Ooh, I like this song. Don't <laughs> Get to do that. No, they do not. Oh. oh my god. He's not gonna take Tim anywhere. My nephew's not feeling well. I just get the check. <sighs> oh my god, I'm dead. He's gonna be angry now. Angry hawk. But unfortunately, there's been an overbooking of reservations. So this is how you're dodging the desegregation laws? Overbooking reservations? I think you should leave. You mean I think you should leave, nigger? It's fine. Just go back to school. It's not fine. Just forget it. I'm leaving anyway. No. This is going to look gay. Who do you gay. think all of these people came to see? Egos or you both go. Fine with me. We're overrun with facts tonight. What are you trying to say? And your boyfriend need to get out That's of here. That's not my boyfriend, you shit. Huh? That's not my fucking Let's boyfriend. Go. Not the wing. I'm just another Negro walking around Foggy Bottom, but you had to come out and make it worse. I was standing up for you. I don't need you to stand up for me. Oh, you're upset because he called us fags in front of all those good paying white folks. They folk. called you one. Cover yourself up and get out of the street before you get yourself arrested. Walk me back to the club. Oh, God. Peace. I embarrassed you. I can't have this. I know. You can't have this this emotion there has to be it. a give and take tim you guys could literally lose your life jobs blah 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 if you want huh you shouldn't but look at him do the liquor and he can't hold his liquor no he cannot you'd rather be with one of the guys from the nomad someone who doesn't ask questions you know, that would be refreshing oh my god i'm fucking tim i think that's why i'm getting a triggered at the bar i kissed a man Congratulations. Could have gone home with them. Wanted me. Don't hit him back. You want me to be rough trained? Hit me. <clears throat> is this going to turn into sex or what? Again. It is the name of the episode. <clears throat> Take your pants off. Keep looking at me. All of it. God damn. God damn. Everything. Yowza. This is so hot. Like, I'm so annoyed. I can't. Put your hands up. Oh my god. Fifty Shades of Gay. Who do you belong to? Yeah. You. Hockey. Who do you belong to? You. Oh. Oh. Who do you belong to? You. Who do you belong to? You. you. Say the whole thing. My name. Hawk. I belong That's to Hawkins Fuller. I belong to Hawkins Fuller. This is too hot. This is so wrong. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? It's an urgent matter concerning G. David Shine, chief on investigations. Thanks for this, Ma. I was a year old and I wasn't pretty enough. You had to fix my nose. You fixed it all right. What's gonna happen? I'd love to write on a typewriter. It was surreal. 
coming back from the war, a colored man knowing you've put your life on the line for persons who see no value in it. Tonight, I was blocked at the door. Promises are great when they are upheld, but how long do we wait for these promises to be fulfilled? You get this? Italy. I led a squad of four men in the push to liberate Velletri. I got pinned down by a Krupp K-5. It's a heavy railway gun with a 70-foot-long barrel. Kratz had two of them pointed at us. When they fired the K-5, you could count the seconds after the boom to know when it was going to hit. We all took a piece of it. By the time they got to us, two of my men were dead. Was it bad? The wound? I needed a couple surgeries. Mostly it was my head that was screwed up. Senator Smith took care of me. Rented me a little house. He didn't let anyone come near me till I got my thinking straight. It's nice that he's opening up. So now you do things for him? Yeah. Bad things? Necessary things. Senator Smith is a good man. Skippy, like you. Can I come in? Would you read this? The words just, just kept coming. Oh, I can tell. Really good, but I don't mean to sound like a prima donna, but where am I? I know. Bouncer called us fags. You forget that? Frankie, that's not a fight I can win right now. No editor would run that story. I'll always be a colored man first. It's all folks see. When I was a kid, no one Like, of me. course Frankie is right, but it is the time. Obviously, you gotta break the rules, but we're not there yet. Why is there not an understanding? Like, I know it's, like, supposed to be, like, Frankie is, like, brave. And, like, the gays should be like, yeah, Frankie, but, like... All right, you guys fucking write it and send it in. But the first time I went full drag to a club in a cheap Halloween wig and a borrowed poodle skirt, people noticed. They looked at me. We love a feathered boa. <sighs> bow me in. Oh, looking at you. Oh, we're having a romantic scene. Thank you. I love them. <laughs> love the Fifty Shades of Gay too, though. Don't get me wrong. Do you know? For the Julius Rosenberg spy ring. This begs the question, how are so many security risks allowed to work so closely to the inner workings of our own military? The army's administrative officials are inept, unable to identify subversives working under their own goddamn noses, or they're corrupt. Either way, I think the army needs to be investigated. If it turns out that the army command is riddled with commies, we'll smoke them out, and when we do, they won't dare to touch you. I met McCarthy on Nelps Club dinner when I was on leave. McCarthy noticed I like bourbon. We stopped off a few places, ended up getting a room in a motor hotel. That's all? No. Senator performed sodomy on me. Wasn't my first time. I'm not proud of it. I'm not judging you. The time I was stationed in Fort Campbell and he said he could get me transferred to a base closer to home. My mother was alone, not well. I wrote him a letter. Very polite, reminded him of what he offered to do. Next thing I know, the FBI is breaking down my door, saying I'm going to prison for making threats. He said they were going to tell my mother what I was. I begged them not to. She was sick. I told her anyway. She never looked at me again. Bill said you have evidence. He said you have money. Take care of yourself. Careful. Ever since he said sodomy, I have love you, but I'm stuck in my head. To sodomy, it's between God and me. To S N M, waiter, waiter, love you, boy. Sensitive Irish skin. <gasps> we love an Irish man. I'm Irish. Are we calling now? An Italian. Yeah, I have to get back. Back to leaving in the middle of the night, sneaking down the stairs, lying. Everybody lies about something. We lie about who we sleep with. I know it hurts you, cause you're good, and sweet. But the lying gets easier. Eventually, it doesn't hurt as much, cause you have no choice. Not who we sleep with. What? It's not who we sleep with. It's who we love. Chills, chills. Okay, jump into the future. Oh, he's getting tested. If they both are sick, like I can't. Mr. Rubalcaba? Won't be long, Tim. They know you. I worked here before. You said your sister needs a break. I nursed my kids through measles, mumps, oh. broken arms. Oh. It's not a good idea. How long? What a week. I can do that. But what about your wife said she needs you? Hey, give me a chance. A chance to do or what? Or something. Someone's to coming to the house. To fuck it up again. We belong together. You sure? No. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Mr. Fuller? How oh, good luck. We have unearthed a trail of dangerous espionage activity. My subcommittee will immediately reconvene to get to the bottom of this scandal. The champions of communism 
have selected this as the time to destroy the Christian world, the security of every American citizen and every citizen of the free world. You will be addressing Miss Kerr as Mrs. McCarthy as we are engaged to be married. Senator. Do you have a regular sexual partner? Yes. Do you and your partner use condoms? No, she's my wife. Have you had a sexually transmitted disease in the past year? No. Have you injected drugs or shared needles in the past year? Of course not. In the past six months, have you had sex with another man? Yes. Penetrative? Yes, with condoms. Were you an active or a passive participant? I don't know if that's active, true. always. What is the frequency of these sexual contacts? Oh, it's not frequent, it's, uh, I don't know, three, three or four times a year. With the same partner? Not if I can help it. You can roll up your sleeve now. Oh, God. The next episode is called Your Nuts Roasting on an Open Fire. How sweet. Cohen, I think his name is, and McCarthy, they're assumed to be gay, and they're going hard against this stuff to obviously make them look straight. I'm a little confused about the gays or community or whatever. It's obviously, it's all on Hush Hush. I guess because Tim is entering the world that Hawk is in, you cannot be gay in politics. It's illegal to be gay, basically, in this time, correct? So I'm confused with how the gay bars work. Frankie invited Marcus to the drag show, or is it like underground hush hush, but like, isn't that scarier than going to dinner with a guy like, making it look casual? Tim confessed his love, obviously, for Hawk. Hawk loves him too, but it's not gonna work because of obvious reasons. Wish he would run away with Tim, but no. In real time watching it, I was a little confused on Hawk's objective going to coastal New York or whatever. Hawk is low-key really there to like, to get dirt on McCarthy. Daniel said the sodomizing thing, which is so scary and bad, but luckily he does have the proof of them together. Oh, it's really nice that Hawk opened up a little bit, explaining the scar on his back. Hawk has gone through a lot. Also, McCarthy getting engaged to that woman. Totally a cover-up, obviously. Oh gosh. Can we go right into Hawk's testing whether he's positive or not? Oh my god, this is a Christmas episode, right? I forgot about the beautiful title of this episode. Dun, 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 dun. Your coat, sir? Merry Christmas! <laughs> They're acting way too normal. Why was everyone like, ooh, and not screaming? <laughs> it was the 1950s. We're talking about a who supports the far right fascist Prop 64. He's as passionate about his left wing politics as he was about McCarthy. Jerome. Oh. Hey, hey. <gasps> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He lives with us, former student. Homeless when I met him. Oh, I thought he was a son. Yeah, I'm sure he kind of took him in though as the son. I'm more or less sober. Oh. Ain't that like being more or less pregnant? Come on. They're just the louder voice. How are things going over there? Oh God. <laughs> now his sister gave me my marching orders. He needs to rest, but he thinks he's leading a revolution. Thanks. Tim says you got tested. Do you hear? Not yet. I'm not worried. It takes that 15 minutes these days. Go fuck yourself, my friend. Watch your fucking language in my house. Frankie? Baby. I need you to run out and grab another 12 pack. Everyone is staying to watch that bitch on 60 Minutes. Roy Cohn. Mm. Love you, baby. <gasps> See, like, why, c if they could be together, why couldn't You're him and him? man. It's because of Hawk. He chose. Yeah, you should. I'll go be. grab us some more beers. But, uh, the poor family. I do have respect for Lucy and the family. Not rooting for that to go down in flames, but. It's the right thing to do, obviously. Oh my god, Frankie. Frankie, Frankie and Marcus are together. Someone who Thank is you. on the right side of things. Thank Someone you. <laughs> Chief of Staff. If he makes the appointment, we can. But what appointment am I making? We're going to talk about it later. Minorities are the largest group affected by AIDS. <laughs> right. <laughs> Total remission. Liar. Are you 
dying of AIDS. Oh. No, I do not have AIDS. Come on. You know yeah, why people did. ask. Sure, of course. They want to know of if you are a homosexual. Anybody who knows me have an awfully hard time reconciling with any kind of homosexuality. My personality, my aggressiveness, my toughness is totally incompatible with anything homosexual. That's so cringe. Faster sweater, Miss Addison. Thank you, Mr. Fuller. Wish we liked you. Right before Christmas, damn. Being summoned for questioning. Did you find it? I put it in your desk. Looks like I finally have a date with Mr. Wright. Or should I say Mr. Wright Wing? Did Miss Addison see it? She hadn't come in yet. Do you think Perfect. Morton knows? Well, the boss is always the last to know. When's the interview? Tomorrow. Better get back out there. Oh, okay. Miss Johnson. Tomorrow, damn. Appreciate what you did. Be careful. I've noticed her mannerisms, like as an actress, like she's doing such a good job. Great actress. I liked when she walked down the stairs after finding Mr. out Martin, about just... Caroline and like she did it with such like class and grace. Like she's a vibe. Mr. Morton to see you. The boss. Fuller. With all due respect, Sarah McCarthy and Cohen have crossed a line. I don't disagree with you. We're understaffed. Morale is low. That's exactly why we need to exert our position with more force. We're under attack. I see a foreign posting in your future. Change your mind about tonight. Holiday soiree. Actually, sir, my schedule just cleared up. Terrific. You know, Edna Last will thing be he wants to do. delighted. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. And frown. Yeah, is Lucy home? Stick around, son. Keep the libations flowing. Oh, he's really in this scary ass room. Ever since Shine was drafted, Cone has been demanding weekends off. Custom-made boots. Disturbing. Scandalous. There are Disgusting. rumors of these two men being fairies. There is a simple solution. <laughs> fire Roy. If you don't fire him, Joe, this whole thing's going to have to be investigated. Maybe even in front of television cameras. Tim is all ears right now. <laughs> you know, Roy graduated law school at 20. Sent two atomic spies to the electric chair at 25. He's smarter and more useful than any dozen of you senators put together. Army's pushing back on our Don't investigation. Don't talk about his baby. Mon what do you think, son? <gasps> I don't know, sir. If Mr. Cohn was truly dedicated to your cause, shouldn't he put aside any personal issue to protect it? He should, and he will. Or face the consequences. Set up a meeting with Adams this week in New York. I'm taking the missus to see Oklahoma. You're coming. The press is having a field day with your boots. Yeah, well, the army doesn't make my size. They're threatening to send you overseas. Nice boots. <laughs> yeah, nice boots. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm taking some real needed notes right now. I won't survive overseas, Roy. If McCarthy kicks me off the committee, they could send you to Siberia and I won't be able to do a damn thing. And what about my weekend pass? I'll try. Do you have a date? I, I did. Boy, women are insatiable this time of year. But I'd rather have a weekend in. I'll come to New York. I'll go to that meeting with you. After, we'll go back to the Waldorf. You, me, Brandy. Eat when we want, fart when we want. Can't do that with women. Like you can with a, a pal. My first time in the boss's house. What do you think? Mr. McLeod, Senate Affairs. Yes, of course. Very well, thank you. McLeod's our head of security. He works night and day to purify Foggy Bottom. Just doing my duty. You're Senator Smith's daughter. That's right. Yes, your father's quite the provocateur. Seems to take great pleasure in being a thorn in Senator McCarthy's side. Mm. He's a personal hero of mine. People say there'd be no McLeod without McCarthy. Oh, they'd be right. My father is not afraid to speak his mind in defense of his country. Well, like your father, I do what I can to defend my country. Mm. Pardon me? What an insufferable prig. Oh, gosh. Be careful, I might get used to this. Used to. Walking into a room on your arm. Best by your work, Mr. Gaines. Shocking the way you're turned away from that club. It's a fine piece of writing. Just tried to tell the truth. Are you happy at the Courier? I'm proud to have my work published by a black paper. Now, with your talents, you could have a larger audience, a better salary. I'd like to offer you a temporary desk here at the Post. Call it a trial run. Full blown shells. Th th that's a very intriguing offer. A Negro writer writing about the Negro experience. There's more than one. Different Negroes have different experiences. Are you expecting problems? Oh, not really, but, uh, well, as you're getting situated, it might be best if you avoided the newsroom's facilities for now. Uh, there's a smaller bathroom on the fourth floor. It'll give you more privacy. I'm embarrassed to even bring it up. Oh my god. It's like such a great opportunity with no pride. Like, Fuller, right on are. time. 
Are you at liberty to say who gave you this reason? That is also confidential. Please have a seat. Our batting average is now one resignation per day. How long have you worked at State? Since 48, four years and 10 months. What is your marital status? Single, but there is a special lady in the picture. Mr. Fuller, please get up and walk across the room. We don't get to see the wall. Please walk. return to your seat. Interesting. That was definitely like a director's choice. The second choice. to last paragraph on the page. Philip opened a large cupboard filled with dresses and stepping in, took as many of them as he could. They smelt of the scent his mother used. That's <laughs> all for today. How'd I do? I'm not at liberty to say. So annoying. The gentleman who left the unit last week, he stepped in front of a truck. Unfortunately, we're seeing an average of one suicide per week. You ever worry that someone might kill you instead? One moment. You'll have to return tomorrow for a polygraph. When we believe a polygraph is required, cooperation is mandatory. That is scary as fuck. Trying to fuck. clear the backlog before the holidays. Oh you my come back god. Tomorrow after Are Alice. you gay? No. <gasps> Hawk may have to kill him. For another brilliant year. How'd it go? My mother could pass it. Polygraph. Yeah, I was afraid of that. You were all wrong for him, Fuller. He is deeply sincere. And you're going to hurt him. I know who you're talking about. The boy who gave Mr. Fuller that book. Yeah, I saw what he wrote inside. Thank you for everything. You're wonderful. We, I knew we hated her. You reported him. Oh my God. She, oh, that face. You're right, Miss Addison. I am wonderful. The reason why he's being questioned is because of this fucking snake. So why don't you just suffer? Yeah. Merry Christmas. You mess with the wrong faggot. Maggie said we have to keep your weight up. You said you know someone connected to the governor. Dave Holm, a Republican fundraiser. Okay, how well do you know him? Not well. What, he's straight? The way that you're straight? You got smoke in here. I know, I know. What do you want, Tim? Call your friend. Ask him. Convince him to set up a meeting with the governor's chief of staff. And why am I doing this? To introduce me. There is an AIDS anti-discrimination bill sitting on the governor's desk. I need to convince him to sign it. We've been waiting for this meeting. They can't ignore you. Of course they can. I'm not hungry. Well, I told Maggie I would make sure you... Well, stop, compassionate nurse. It doesn't suit you. I certainly know what it's like to lose someone. Of course you do. That was a stupid thing to say. You suffered a tremendous loss. How is Lucy? She's managing. Senator Smith. We've been managing for seven years now, but it never really feels managed. B, I can't make that call. You think that by walking into that office with me, you'll be coming out? I am married. I have a family, grandkids. I have a right to protect them. And I have a right not to die. You're not dying. Where are you going? Out, I need a drink. I thought you were sober. Between drinks. You know the bathhouses are closed. So I'm sure you can find a back room set up for anything. Oh, fuck you. I understand Tim's position, but like no respect for Hawk's family and how it's going to destroy them. This is so touchy. He should be more concerned with like him coming out to the family first then, but it's life or death, but like, mm, this is rough. Merry Christmas. Very elegant. <laughs> I can return it, I got the receipt. I like it, Skippy. I'm like Careful. not even turned Careful, on I'm anymore. Even oh, you worried what Grandma Laughlin will think? When I was Senator McCarthy. I shouldn't have told you that. Why don't you tell me the part that I'll find out anyway? There's a meeting in New York. It's McCarthy, Cohn, and John Adams, the Army's lawyer. Oh. Not shy? No, they didn't want him, but he insisted on coming. The Army brass is fed up. McCarthy's getting pressured to fire Roy. Oh, I said, huh? said too much. Oh. 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 And you'll be there. My boy's coming up on the world. Speaking of coming up. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of turned on again. I should have told you about the meeting. What do you mean? Why can I never say no to you? I'm irresistible. <laughs> no, it's your turn tonight. I wish we could spend Christmas together in New York. Oh, Sam. What would we do? I want to see the Rockettes, the Radio City Music Hall. Low key boring. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Be right back. Merry Christmas. God, he's being too much.
No, he's not. No, he's not. But like, no. Fuck. Chills. Oh my god. This is everything. I can't. Sure you can. That's how I'd feel. I have chills everywhere. I can't bear being this happy. <sighs> I know the Sweet. feeling. I miss it. No, stop. Before you go, I need a favor. Oh, come on. Give this to Shine tomorrow. No one else. What is it? Tell him I can't tell you. what the fuck it is. Will it hurt anyone? It might stop innocent people from getting hurt. Will I see you again? Of course, right? This is the first time he's being romantic. And like, I, I can't even... I'm dreaming. Oh, yeah, for. So you'll remember me. <laughs> Come on. I need to look like that in a white t-shirt. Like, that is a fucking goal. Hello. Hello. Is my husband there? I I'm sorry, it's Lucy Fuller. Hawk gave me her number. No, this is You went out to the drugstore. Can I have him call you back? Please. It's not urgent. Okay. Uh, thanks for letting him stay a few days. I don't know if I'd let him. He said he needed to be there until your sister comes back. I didn't really have a choice. How are you? Getting by. Ask her how she is. How are you? Thank you. Getting by. I'll tell him you call. Thanks. Men do not change. No, they do not. Well, they're either like that person or they're not. My thing is, how could you even be turned on in the fucking slightest after this entire situation? Like, you should be scared to death about AIDS. You should be going to clean places. Like, I know, I guess it's truly a different time. This is a show. It's a book. Like, I, like, I'm just so against this culture low-key. Or is that normal? Is that bad to say? I really don't know. I feel like people do act like this. Ugh. Bitch, you thought. Oh. Sleep with dogs, you get fleas. So he just has to react like nothing, right? This is not gonna help. Yeah. Oh my god, how is this gonna Merry go? Merry Christmas, Tim. I got him to sign it for you. Take this into Joe and linger. Be my eyes and ears. It's a boys club tonight and you're a boy. I think we can all agree that Mr. Shine is equally valuable to both parties. Precisely why his important work on our committee can't be interrupted. Mrs. McCarthy thought you might need this, sir. Thank you. Spends a lot of time with Mr. Cohn. We know what's really happening here. The army is holding Mr. Shine hostage to pressure us into dropping our investigation into subversives at Fort Monmouth. Are you aware that you could be brought up on charges for using the influence of your office to gain special privileges for a uniformed soldier? No more requests will be made by Mr. Cohn. Right, Roy? Certainly unless the army intends to ship him overseas. Private Shine is a patriot above all else. He will go wherever he needs to go. Right, Roy? He has got to go. What are you lurking there for? Mr. Fuller, were you sent overseas to serve in the United States Army in 1943? Yes. In which country were you stationed? Italy. Italy. Have you ever attended meetings affiliated with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union? No. Have you ever frequented a Washington, D.C. establishment called the Chicken Hut? No. Cozy Corner in Me- Molly, 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 no. Molly. Physical contact with a male foreign national. No. Engaged in sodomy. Or oral genital contact with another male. Stop thinking about that. Moly, 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 moly. No. Oh, God. Presence of a romantic nature to or from another man. Shall I repeat the question? No. And the answer is no. Have you ever considered yourself to be in love with another male? Answer the question. 
No. Are you in love? <laughs> Don't be shy. Not at the moment. I believe my marriage to Joe is ordained by God. What saddens me are the people trying to stab my husband in the back. What happens if they win? People are taking their own lives. Timothy, oh. Senator McCarthy is our only hope. His enemies are God's enemies. David's here. You're late. Where's Roy? They're idiots. Idiots! Joe? You can't blackmail Roy. me. We're not going to back Roy, down. what happened? Joe, what's You're going on? You're facing an investigation. Roy. Joe, what happened? Army's bringing charges. Charges against who? Me and Roy abusing the power of our office. Eisenhower's behind the whole thing. I could end up censured or expelled. Bartender! Who, who conducts the investigation? My committee. You have got to get rid of that little Jew and his perfect friend. You cut them free and let them twist in the wind before it's too late. <clears throat> Gina's on it. Come on, David, let's go. Leave it to a strong female. Mr. Shutty. Actually, wait. She's evil. This came in in the office for you. It says confidential. Oh, God. How'd I do? We're not supposed to say. Yeah, what the hell? It's Christmas. Thank you. Clean as a whistle. Woo! Honestly, didn't, I really didn't think it was going that way. Or is he lying? No. Oh, He's not. Oh, your cufflinks. I don't know. Beautiful. Let me see the other one. H. Who is this? F. What's it Who stand for? That? Fordham, my alma mater, and history, my major. Okay, you can open it. Mr. Gift Giver. My Is Tim gonna see Please. this? Pull under the tree for me. Tree I'm giving Frankie his moment. I'll wait up for you Leave it. Oh my god, they're together still. I could be happy. Congratulations in your job at the post. Uh, Still auditioning until they God. feel comfortable enough with the idea that I could pass as one of them. To success. At least the appearance of it. When the interrogator asked you those questions, how did you block out the memories? See, it occurred to me you don't pass with the truth. You pass with the absence of guilt. And I felt none. Did they ask you if you ever loved another man? Hell yeah. They did. And did you think about Tim? For a second. How did you pass? Clean as a whistle. You're celebrating because you don't love Tim? Or because you're such a damn good liar. Facts. Am I celebrating? Yeah. McCarthy's gonna fire me to save his skin. If he fires me, everyone's gonna think he's a Jew hater. Roy. He probably is a Jew hater. Until they need us. You need to look at this. What? It's the proof, right? About Daniel. Oh, I'll be damned. It means this is a time of Nachas, Dave. Stupid alcoholic fat Mick isn't gonna fire Roy Cohn and Gerard David Schein. <laughs> not going to Korea. Take off your shoes and crack open the brandy, Dave. We're not going anywhere. The picture. <laughs> so does McCarthy have Roy's back, but I Roy doesn't have McCarthy? You. you know how to spend Christmas Day with the folks. Will your old girlfriend be there? I know I should have told you about her. I don't really mind. So yes, yeah, she is. It's exciting. What? Thinking of you, the woman. The streets are white with snow in England, but there's no one. We give thee I'm thanks, sure Almighty God. Got the Christmas blues. But what's the stopping? I guess I have to remember, like. I'm not like most men in the sense of they just really don't connect sexual things with emotion. Like that's just something I really can't understand and like, I almost don't understand how that could be true. I mean, I get, I just don't understand. Like that's just not how my mind works. To each their own, obviously. It's just not for me. <laughs> Why he couldn't go to Tim, but... How are we gonna end Skip. this? I'm scared. Tim! Oh, back from that disgusting place. Tim! Lucy called Tim. We talked on the phone. Skippy, I'm sorry about earlier, okay? Call my friend and I'll ask for that meeting you want. I can't, I can't guarantee anything. I'm fucking scared. Just open the door. Skippy? Oh, no, 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 no. Did he like freak out after the phone and like angry? What is going on? Mr. Fuller, I, where's Tim? Does he know? The hospital. 
<sighs> it's lucky we were, we were here when it happened and Frankie went with him in the ambulance. And what happened? What happened? He had a seizure. It's bad. Next episode, promise you won't write. God, guys. Okay, that was a lot, again. So, in the beginning of the episode, the guy that committed suicide, I was thinking, like, did he just get tested? But no, like, he just did the polygraph test himself, and to him, he just thinks he lost everything, which he, I guess, probably did, or would've. So scary, so fucked up. The only, like, happiness in this episode was seeing Frankie and Marcus. We have one stable relationship, thank you. I can't believe Addison was the one. Well, I can believe it, but I don't know why I didn't think that right away. And I just had to look up about the conversation that Tim and Hawk had about the loss of someone. They lost a child? Insane. And I think that Roy thinks that McCarthy betrayed him on further thought. Oh my god, my head is spinning. And to top it all off, we have Tim in the hospital. I don't know how he's gonna make it through to the end of the show i'm it's going to be horrible i'm sure all right slayers fellow travelers till next time please give this a thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment below if you can explain anything to me you feel like i didn't catch up on because i'm sure it's happening please let me know anything like that i love fun facts we know this i'll see you on the next one it's billy bitch <sighs>but that's just me you guys can do you and if you have a problem with that you can get the fuck i made some hot takes last episode some good some bad probably mostly a little bad as i have to repeat myself i'm not one for politics in general i probably wouldn't have reacted to the show if i knew the depth of it i just like going into shows blind and like learning i think it's good for my reactor point or whatever on the point of being a reactor it's really hard for me anyways to catch on to every little thing first to watch especially being in front of a camera it adds another level of your brain not being completely there a couple things i want to touch on before we get into episode five it's called promise you won't write so i don't remember exactly what i said but i'm pretty sure i said i was on hawk's side of him not going to the guy with the letter which he eventually says that he will i think i was just kind of triggered by tim skippy like reaction which I guess is understandable like he is gonna die and he does have AIDS I was a little like unsure like I kind of figured but I just didn't want to assume so like he has AIDS and the cancer like that's insane but I don't know I just wish that Tim would see it from Hawk's side just a little bit like I said with like the family thing but realistically it wouldn't be outing Hawk I mean it might make people turn a few heads yes but heads have already been turned and I am happy that he's going to bring that forth because people are dying and playtime is over bothers me how Skippy could just come off like it's just so easy for Hawk and the same thing really with like Marcus Frankie was getting snippy at Marcus chill out like we're gonna figure this out let's not fight let's discuss and make up a game plan not just scream at each other and be unproductive as for the courtroom thing I don't really understand why he was in the courtroom I know he signed something in support of the left communist i just don't understand the lack of confidence i know like he lost his mother i don't i just didn't get the playing dumb of it all instead of attacking me can you please maybe explain that in the comments below that does bother me also someone said it was disgusting that i was siding with that wretched hag i did write her name somewhere Jean, i think i hate her <laughs> I made a little joke at some point. The actress is great. She's, and I just think it's interesting, like the woman 
being the one to be running things low key. I was coming at it like, okay, like woman power. I mean, this is a show like, but no, I guess it's disgusting. I mean, I obviously get it. She is disgusting, but like, just stop. I'd like to watch my more uncut version, even messier guys. I don't know. Check out my Patreon link will be below. My Patreon reaction was kind of a mess low key for the last episodes, but it just is what it is. Like at the end of the day, it's not that serious. I'm missing things. I know it like comes off like I'm sitting on the couch just talking to you guys, but there are elements of this that you'll not understand unless you've done this. Check out my links below. All my socials are Billy Carney XO. I will see you there, but it is time to get in the YouTube edit. So let's get into it. Oh my God, Tim is in the hospital. Kim Laughlin came by ambulance maybe half an hour ago. Do you need to see a doctor? Oh my Thank God. You. Excuse me, sir. What do you mean? Oh my God. Is that him? Oh no. He shouldn't be here. He should not be here. Oh, imagine seeing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey Jimmy, how you doing? Hey Hawk. Leonard Smith hasn't been home the last two nights. You seen it? Threw him out of here last night, causing a ruckus. Uh oh. Lucy's right, brother. Do me a favor. I'll check in later. Sure. Speak low. God, that's Lucy's brother. Right? Oh. I mean, like he's not even fighting. Oh my God. Marcus, Marcus. Oh. That is not cool. Oh God. Search three precinct houses before I find him. Thanks, Frank. We need to get our hands on the arrest record between you and me. Let's see what I can do. <sighs> Leonard better stop being mean to Hawk now. You know how much it's gonna cost to get your record buried? It's my father's money, not yours. Your father will never hear about this. You understand? <laughs> you said you were gonna be an hour. Lucy was at her friend's and her car wouldn't start. I should go. Jean wants me to sit with her in the hearings. Hmm. And watch your husband being grilled rather than doing the grilling. We still have an hour before it starts to get light. Hmm. You've been rather sweet lately. Your Honor. I stand before you accused of being sweet. I have been in prison. Working from a penthouse in Manhattan all while being on active duty. Do you think Corn will fall on his fourth I know his shoe size. <laughs> How long have you known Mr. Shine? I would say about two years. And your relationship with David Shine has been very close for the past two years, hasn't it? Yes, sir. He is one of many good friends I am proud to have. Welch and Jenkins and that bastard Senator Smith, it's bull. I thought that the dad was like more accepting, but I guess no one is, right? There are places that help men like him. I'll look into it. So thoroughly disgusts me. Don't blame yourself, sir. He's just one of nature's mistakes. Holy shit. I love her sweater. Oh, he's wearing the tie that Tim got him. When I was in Madrid, I met two gentlemen at the Prado. They called themselves traveling companions. I did me Hello, to dinner. travelers. At some point, one of them allowed his hand to rest on the hand of his friend. I must have been staring because he quickly pulled his hand away. Our eyes met, and I remembered that I'd seen that look before. On Leonard's face. He can't help what he is. No one would choose to live with all that shame. I wonder if we're gonna see her realizing no, that you are not a mess. He's gay. You're not a mess. I mean it's obvious she knows she finds out from the future. Oh no. Oh no, is Roy coming right now? Yes. I'm so pee shy. As I recall, you were recommended to Senator McCarthy by one of Senator Smith's donors. Yes, sir. What do you think of whining Wesley? 
or do you prefer <laughs> Sanctimonious Smith? I respect Senator Smith. Go. Oh. You switch sides. Uh, no, sir. I still believe in the anti-communist cause. You know, we've heard his uh, son is a faggot. Is that true? That he was uh, arrested for it, sucking cock in a public toilet. That's the rumor that's going around Washington. Is it true? I wouldn't know. I think you would. Thank you for the package, by the way. Come on, Tim, you gotta be the a little quicker. The one you quicker. gave to Mr. Shy. The acting on Wait. this show is so incredible. Uh, somebody left it on my desk. Oh, kid, you're a terrible liar. Just like Hawk said. You yeah. should work on that. Mr. Fuller, someone to see you. I can handle him, on. Thanks. Today's not a great day. It's funny. Code said more or less the same thing. It's the truth. No. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. I'm, I thought it was gonna be wow. Hawk. I'm happy it's Frankie, because there needs to be a discussion about you leaving two Thanks bottoms for behind. I was glad you called. This is a lot less intimate than the cozy. Frankie, I can't go back there. The owners have upped their bribes. You can come back. It's safe. It's not. Not for me. My father's a brilliant pianist. You wanted to play in an orchestra. Now he's stuck behind a counter selling shoes. Ever since I started writing and making a living at it, he reads every word. Oh, I love that. When he sees something of mine in the paper, I know I'm going to get a call from him telling me how proud he is. I have chills everywhere. I feel like I say that a lot. I don't know if you guys could ever see them and you're like, sure, but I really Do you do. know what it means for him to see my byline in the post? So you're not going to go out. Here we go with the not, not understanding the other side. I just want to be honest with you. That's not good enough for him. This all comes down to fear. I think that's why like these things are bothering me, especially being in this time. Like, what if Marcus goes to jail? I get, I understand how I sound. So, like, how do we make things right then? But Frankie shouldn't be getting involved with people in this type of field. At some point, he's like doing it to himself. Like, everyone just has to learn and do things for themselves. Everyone needs to learn from their own mistakes. And I'm rooting for them. It's just like, I wouldn't go back to that bar either. Getting hit by cops when you're not even getting, like, fighting them? It's scary. I don't know. Do you like my nails? Just a gloss, though, since I was coming to see you in the park. I should have let him paint them red. That's what I really wanted. Look, Luce, we have tennis. What did you tell mother? That your drinking's gotten out of hand and you're going to a nice place to dry out. I told you. Press you on resigning? No. Then I haven't found Leonard's arrest record. So it's over. It's not over. Trust me, there's a desk sergeant out there willing to sell the record. DC cops have a thriving business in that market. Well, look at us, down on our bellies, crawling through the mud, just like the men we think we're better than. You are better, sir. This will be good for you, son. I stopped being your son the day he showed up. Sad orphan, a tennis star. <laughs> Goddamn war hero, for Christ's sake. The son you thought you deserved. I never had a chance. We should get going. And Father, whatever disgusting thing I am, you made me this way. He's right, Hawk. You took his place, and I let you do it. He's gonna faint if he finds out he's gay, too. But did you not tell me you... Senator McCarthy should know. What makes you think he doesn't? Please. Let the hearing proceed. The successful treatment of homosexuals depends on their willingness to face what they really are. They begin to think they're normal. Like us. But you can change them. With a combination of aversion therapy and intermittent electroconvulsive treatment. Yeah, they just Shock start therapy. to lie. Oh my God. We believe he'll benefit from limited contact with the outside world. No visitors. Our policy, exactly. We're ready for you. You know what I've been thinking about? I can't imagine. That first summer, when you started spending time at our house. Oh my god, someone told me in the comments too that it's just assumed that they lost a kid. And I think I even cut out my full comment about that being like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to know that it was the son. But maybe it was the brother. I, I thought it was the senator, Smith, the dad. It would make more sense if it was the brother and if he died from AIDS, HIV. We drank some of my mother's mint schnapps. Oh, God. Then we jacked off together by the fire. All boys do that. Normal men grow out of it. I thought about telling my father about you. Oh, 
need are. Tell them what? Some sad, twisted fantasy you created in your perverted brain. As you know, he'd never believe you. He'd always take your word over mine. Won't be so bad, Nat. I need to be free of this thing. I want to be cured. Say what you want. This nasty witch is smart. What does he have on you? Men from Wisconsin don't turn on their friend. You would think a man from Wisconsin would know how to get his wife pregnant. Oh. What is it, Tim? The photograph. Roy did something to it. He changed it. What are you trying to do? I thought you'd want to know. Do you know that I was once voted the worst senator in Washington? It's true. Not shine. As the original unaltered piece of evidence that we received from Secretary Stevens' office. Do you recognize this photograph? Sure. Who is the man on your immediate right? That is Colonel Bradley, sir. I should be there. You're right where you should be, sir. Out of a line of fire. Do you have any knowledge of the circumstances under which the picture of Colonel Bradley was omitted? It is indeed. If it's Where'd it in come from? The a pixie? Office. Clearly altered. Define what a pixie is? You might be more Very of an good. expert on that. That a pixie is a close relative <laughs> of a fairy. <laughs> have I enlightened you? Shouldn't you be at the Senate? Mr. Welch, you have been the Secretary Stevens asked to meet with Private Shine. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. Uh. What the f Hell. We are not going to get through anything. You and McCarthy are facing charges. I mean, I am not like you, Roy. I'm normal. Sure, Jan. Hawk, quit my job. Can we go upstairs? I'm going out. Out hunting? Take me with you. You wouldn't enjoy it. No, I'd be with you. Everything's gone, Hawk. I don't know what to believe. I needed to see you. I don't want you to read about it in the papers. I'm going to ask Lucy. Don't resign. They'll release Lenny's arrest record to the press tomorrow afternoon in time for the evening edition. I doubt your mother will show her face in public again. And Lenny, when he comes out of that hospital, even if he's cured. His life is ruined. What chance will he have to live a normal life? This will hound him for the rest of his days. It won't be my fault. You should. <laughs> I will have destroyed him twice. What are we going to do? You and all have each other. You'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Going to come, but curiosity got the better of me. Cute. Thanks. Aren't you nervous? Someone from the post might see you with me. <laughs> I don't think I have much of a future at the post. I wasn't happy doing the work they wanted me to do. And I received a few calls from a new publication. Nice. Jet Magazine. Not a huge readership. Sounds good to me. I look out of that damn city and can't help but think about what it denies us. I'm gonna write about that. Things that matter. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna drink this damn coffee. <laughs> I'm going on the road with Stormy. The Jewel Box Review, up and down the East Coast. Wow. But when I come back, I'd like a place of my own. Not a room over a bar, but an apartment, with a bathtub, and a kitchen, and someone waiting in it for me. And it's gonna be Mark. And Senator McCarthy, his approval ratings plummeting from the Senate. He and it was gonna be Hawk. But I just realized we haven't gone to the hospital with him once. Oh my god. Oh, it's probably going to end going back there again, and then it's going to cliffhang again. Yeah, It'll probably in. be the next episode. Oh my god, I'm not ready. I got your letter of condolence. It meant a lot. Thank you. I'm going to do it for Dixon two days. I'm not going to wait for you. What does that mean? He's smiling. I want to take you somewhere. Hawk. Come on. The army owns your body now. I can't steal you from them. Or can I? No. You can. He's joining the arm. Then give me an hour. One hour. Where are we going? You trust me? Um, don't answer don't that. Don't answer that. I was gonna say. Come on. Okay, matching. Oh, I'm sorry about Senator Smith. I know you love them. It's Kippy. I didn't raise my boy to be a soldier. I have to go. Respect him. I have to get over you. Ugh. 
Yeah. Um, you do. Hawk. Promise you won't write. The name of the episode. I won't. Oh my god, I have chills everywhere. Next episode is called Beyond Measure. This is getting highly emotional. I don't really feel like talking right now. Let's just get in to the next one. Previously on Fellow Travelers. I'm doing four dicks in two days. I wonder how much of the journey we're going to see of Tim joining the military. All right. Hit me. Oh, God. Is that all right? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. I figured so we were going to see I'm surprised I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of so. this time now I mean, To be alive? And you're still here, that surprises me <laughs> well, That makes two of us I've never gotten used to this My prison tattoo Did you forget that I'm a convicted felon? Yeah Oh my god, we're going to show this shot It's time for Tim no, to boy, be a we're little just here badass for the draft cards. Ma'am? I need you to stand over here. Let's go quickly. I'm sorry, but you can't leave. Stay there. No, George. Thank you. Get as many as you can. Fill up the bags. Hey, give me a bag. Is it okay? I looked up Fort Dix, and it's like a training for the military. I don't know why he's in this getup looking like a priest oh but the from looking at how he looks this is probably way after the fact i guess i guess but i don't know what year we're in right now right this might be the first time it's showing this era sorry come on thank you we do this so that men will not be made to kill we offer this prayer in the name of peace, God, and decency. Lord, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Thy is the kingdom. Come here. Let's go. I got one of them. I'm going to assume this is like early 70s. But I have no idea. Um, I'm on Kimberly, the phone. Give it, give it back. I'm on the phone. Give Jesse, it. let no. her go. You sold my guitar pick. So you have a hundred guitar picks. Sorry about that. What did he say? He's grateful for your offer, but reluctant to accept for... Who's he? Obvious reasons. The FBI is involved now. He needs to get out of Baltimore. That's what I said. I'll wire you the cash. You make sure he gets on that bus tomorrow. Will do. Tim was curious how you knew he was in trouble. Had you been keeping tabs on him all these years? God. Oh. Mm, of course. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Well, he said he wouldn't I'm write, and this is probably his first time it. reaching out or here. trying to. I just spoke with the caretaker. They probably haven't no talked in a long time. Else. Pump's broken. We're supposed to go up this weekend. Go up another time. It's the Stover's anniversary. We're throwing them a party. Well, we can't throw a party if we don't have water. We've invited a dozen people. Try to get a plumber working on it as soon as I can. I'll call you from the house. Let you know if it's safe to come up. What are you up to these days, Tim? What's the tea? Nice to see you, Skippy. Oh. So he just lied. Is it Father Skippy now? I'm not a priest. I'm in seminary. But I wouldn't be here if I had a choice. Time to look up what know? that means. What is a seminary? Okay, so he's in training to be a priest. Great. Best if you lie down in the back. You worried about the FBI? Worse. Neighbors. This is gonna be so bad. Your father's napping. I'll be on my way. I really appreciate you being here. If it was for you, I wouldn't get any work done. Your father's so proud of you. He says you're writing a new book? On the Fair Housing Act. Mm. But... I was supposed to be out there in the heat of it all. But you know what they say about making plans. Make God plans with God laughs. So cool. <laughs> I don't mind helping out. Your folks were always good to me. And it's been nice seeing you too. Like old times. Maybe you'll let me take you to dinner sometime. That would be nice. It's our country property. The uh, main house is a quarter mile through the woods. 
This is no Daddy's shot. hunting cabin, where you do your hunting. I manage to bag a buck every now and then, looking to become a priest. More like a place where you figure out if you're meant to be one. So no vow of celibacy then? Not yet, but I practice it, or try to. Not with somebody. Man's second best friend. Hawk, I'm grateful, but I'm only staying until I get instructions from Father Lawrence. Some of us will be turning ourselves in to call attention to the cause. With the radical priest who got you into this? He's my mentor. When I was in the army, I lost faith in almost everything. He helped me find it again. And what about the vow you took? I honor it by lowering my zipper only occasionally and only with strangers. That sounds so empty. Found you a lawyer. He's top notch. You can't go to jail for something like that. I'll check in on you later. Daddy, we're here. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Oh, 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 oh. Wondered where you were. I had to check the plumbing at the cabin. Where's Jackson? Upstairs, moping. I said, oh, I wonder how Lucy's going to figure things out. She's giving like she's a little more onto it. I don't know if she's thinking that it's a guy that he's cheating with or like being sneaky or sketchy about, but I'm interested in what state she's at. Like she's not dumb, you know? Hey, Jax. Glad you're here, buddy. Make sure you get cleaned up for dinner. Oh, what's wrong? Well, Hawk, what you've done with the renovation is nothing short of a miracle. Oh, well, sounds like you've got company. Andrew's here. Oh, yeah, that's our contractor. He's renovating the cabin. Since he's giving up his apartment, Hawk insists on having a lair in the woods. What husband wouldn't? It won't be long. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm surprised that he finally agreed to give up his apartment. He seemed quite attached to it. It was handy working in town like he does, and so late sometimes. But he agreed. We don't need the extra expense. Your father was the same. She Away knows. from home, all hours. I mean, coming from... Lucy. Coming from, like, her brother to this and her dad. Poor frickin' Lucy, man. Take comfort in the fact that you're the one he loves comes home to which again is why i get a little like snippy with tim sometimes because they're selfish elements the rest is all just about the meeting of needs i have no idea what you mean so what are we looking at a felony the destruction of federal property and the government's also pressing charges for interference with the selective service act and for kidnapping what we didn't kidnap anyone they forced a clerk to stay inside the building we asked her politely what they want is to make an example of you, Lawrence, and the rest. On inflated charges. You know what they do to someone like him in prison? I do. And it might be for as long as 12 years. Jesus. Now, I could try and negotiate a deal for no jail time, but you'd have to provide the names of all the other protesters. Want to rat out my friends? We'll circle back, Jerry. Okay, let me know. We're all willing to go to prison for our beliefs. But I thought a few months, a year, you have a way out. What he can arrange is not a way out for me. I'm scared. Yeah, come in, come in. Anyone would be scared. You don't understand. I'm scared I don't have the courage to do the right thing. Hawk. Oh, I miss you, Skippy. I keep going back to something Father Lawrence says all the time. There is no God higher than truth. You cheating on the Bible with Gandhi? In the past, I held two truths. My love for you and my love for God. One was real. And one was a fantasy. Okay, so it's a full on Bible banger right now. I feel the same way about my family. They're my truth now. And they're here. Lucy brought Kimberly and Jackson up for the weekend. And you should go and be with them. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, Tim, Tim. Father, why do I always fail? Why do I always give in? Why is my love for you never enough? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned impure thoughts i can't stop them i respect people and like their beliefs on god and stuff but this just really makes me sick and that's not even me saying that i don't believe in god it's like have your own personal relationship don't question yourself i'm not telling you guys that like i know you like get it 
but I'm just thinking out loud. I've been in my Jesus era, I say. I, like, girls gone Bible. I'm very interested. Like, I personally think in more, like, universe aspects, but how did we get here? That is the most magical thing. There must have been a god. Chicken or the egg doesn't make sense. So I'm open to it, but in this era, they're following things written in books by people that wanted everyone to believe a certain way, whether it's just crazy. God loves all, I believe. Am I to understand that you have feelings for another man? Yes. Are you aware that the church views this as a mortal sin? I am. But I don't know how love can be a sin. Lord, exactly. and use thy gifts, which we are about to receive exactly, from thy bounty. Tim. Amen. All right. Oh my God, so Sweet. Cute. Napkins in your lap, kids. Can I go to the Snyder's tomorrow night? No, we're having a party tomorrow night. But it doesn't matter if I'm here. Can we have fireworks? Of course it matters. Susan said the oldest Snyder boy sells drugs. He does not. We're not having fireworks. Why do I have to be here? It's only ever a bunch of your snobby friends and their stupid kids. Don't talk to your mother that way. Check the garage. I think I saved you from the fort. Yes. Can I be excused? Not until you finish your dinner. And I mean all of it. Listen to your father. You barely ate any lunch. Can I have some more gravy, please? Yes, of course. <laughs> Don't encourage him. I can't look at that. Jackson. Enough! Leave the table. Go to your room. Fine! <sighs> I said upstairs! This is bullshit! Hawk! Let him blow off steam. Oh my god, is he gonna go to the cottage and see fucking Tim? Obviously. Oh my god, Tim is gonna look like a creeper. Okay, so he's seen this firsthand and he's still. Okay. Interesting. To each their own. Evening, officer. Evening, Mr. Fuller. We've had some break-ins lately. Cash and jewelry were stolen. Probably just some kids getting into things. Just letting you know. Hey, did Jackson come back? I think so. Let's double check on that theory. Is hey, Jax. He He's not Jax. gonna be there. He's gonna be in Tim's cabin, and Tim is gonna walk in the cabin. And there will behold kid in the cabin. I'm scared. Oh, no. What are you doing in our cabin? Friend of your father's. You must be Jackson. Your father told me about you and your sister. Can you please put the gun down? It's not loaded. <sighs> Motherfucker. Do you want a soda? Is this your hideout too? No, I only come when I know my father's not here. How do you know him? I used to work for the government. I found this is myself weirdly in a cute. rough spot recently. I needed a place to stay. A door. He didn't tell mom about it. My old boss treated your grandfather badly. Your dad didn't want to upset her. Do you want to put the gun back to where it belongs? Is it hanging on the wall or something? I enjoy a smoke myself now and then. He takes a step on the frozen snow without a trace of the winter's glow, the lesser of two with nowhere to go. That's pretty good. Where would you go? Anywhere. I just want to get away from here. Sometimes it's hard to know where we belong. Do you write about your family? Can I have it back? Someone gave it to me. I'm asking you if it belongs to you. I told you someone gave it to me. I don't like being lied to. That's funny. You're not to leave this house. Do you understand? Look at me. And you're giving this and wh whatever else you took to whoever it belongs to. And I And you're didn't... going to apologize to them. You've really disappointed me, Jackson. What else is new? Okay, so he stole stuff. What is going on with you? Well, no, I think it was given. Dad's got him. someone staying at his cabin. Did you like know that? Set. Or do you not care? You better go to bed. Oh, I thought he was actually going to not say anything. What? Guess this is how she learned about Tim. Hello. I asked you to call me. Did you get my note? I'm busy. Well, I have something for you. This was a birthday present, remember? 
It's been hanging in the apartment forever, and I won't be taking it with me to San Francisco. San Francisco? About the girls. <sighs> Done performing. I'm going back to school. Music? Social work. Hmm? Those girls go through a lot of pain. And where do they get out? Gay liberation groups mm -hmm. laugh at them. Doctors think they're disturbed and want them committed. Mm -hmm. They need someone who understands them. You'll be good at that. You're tougher than most. About some, take care of yourself. Here you go, Pops. Made it myself. Settle down with that. Cynthia, you wouldn't have to cook. I don't mind. But I do. You can't cook for shit, son. I really like that girl. Eat before it gets cold. I'm no spring chicken, Marcus. By the time you have kids... I won't, Pop. No wife, either. I like being free. You ever love somebody, son? Yes. She have a name? Frankie. That's a funny name for a girl. It is a girl's name, too. Yeah, it is. Wow. I love that scene. It's melancholy, but... Sickler got in touch with the lawyer for Father Lawrence. He wants to turn himself in, and he's willing to let you give the FBI his name and location to get you your deal. I'm not gonna do that. He'll have a much easier time than you in prison. You know what happens to men like you in there. You mean men like us? For God's sake, he's giving you an out. Why do you care about any of this? Look, the season's ending, but we don't use this place much in the winter. You can stay here while Sickler navigates your case through the courts. You'll have time to think whatever it is you need to do. Where would you be? Here, when I can, if you want me to be. You know I can't. We don't have to do what we used to do. Oh God, is this you gonna see this? Different person, what wow. you and I just did. It's natural. Just go away. He's please. like brainwashed. Go away. Just go away. In all these years, I've never intruded on you at the cabin. I've never needed to. As long as I knew that family comes first. Does it? Always. I'll get that, hun. We're here. Hey. She's taken so much. Andrew says you let him go. I did. His work has been sloppy lately, and he's never on time. He might have asked me first. But that's fine. We'll find someone else. Hide Hawk. your face mm. in that paper. We're not done. When I was in Europe, I had an affair. Oh, yes. I said something about this. I probably cut that shit out, but Patreon knows. Knew she cheated, too. And good for her. Surely you not knew really, when we but married that I was not a virgin. I hadn't given it much thought. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. All this time, I thought that was why our married life was... Were they together when she was in your I think you're the most beautiful woman in the world. I want a family. Well, so do I. Then give me a baby. Everybody raise a glass to the Stovers. Fifteen more years. Hey, here, here. <laughs> Jackson? My parents are having a party, and I, I dropped acid. <laughs> How much did you take? The kid does have, have the, the drugs. drugs. And when did you take it? A couple of hours ago. I mean, don't freak him out. There's so much light around you. Is it nice light? Yeah. It has a lot of colors. What? <laughs> That tracks. I think we're gonna be okay. Come on! How can you not move to that? Hell yeah. There we go. Oh, cute. Come on, everybody. There she is. Oh, shit. Bet you thought, Hawk. I'm not like happy about this. It's just like sh this girl has been through so much. I'm giving her a pass. You guys could think what you guys want. I 
Oh shit. Okay. Everybody ready? Hawk knows when you're not looking at him. guys thought it was hot when it was the other guy. I wish my dad could be as cool as you. Maybe your dad isn't as bad as you think he is. I hate him. I love this because Tim is going to say all the best things for this kid. Damn. We don't really know why, right? Like, we, from what we've seen, like, he's been a good dad. This is so dark, actually. Jackson, sometimes we feel like we hate someone because we think they don't love us when we want them to. But maybe your father loves you the best way he knows how. He lies, and so does Mom. We all lie sometimes. Mostly to ourselves. Dog barking with the fireworks in the background is so realistic. Great editing. Sorry. Shout out. I love my editors. Or sound, maybe. I think that's editing. There you go. Look at that. Do you not like that? Hi, you're drunk. What I'd like is for you to get some sleep. Am I that unattractive to you? Don't be ridiculous. You're a beautiful woman. That's the problem, isn't it? Wow, I don't think we have saw a sex scene with them, right? <sighs> their brains, guys, wow. Like, they're so turned on in all the wrong ways. Because, like, it's not like they weren't just enjoying that. Like, it's so toxic. Damn. He's asleep. I thought he was in his room. I went to check and he, he comes here a lot, apparently. And he came back tonight after taking LSD. Where the hell would he get that? Is that really what's important? I don't know why he does the things he does. Did you know he was a poet? He's good. He's very sensitive. He never talks about it. He'll be fine by morning. When you know this, how? I've experimented. I seem to be always searching for something to lose myself in completely. It's like we say in seminary, beyond measure. <laughs> Hawk, I can't stay here. It's not good for me. And it's not good for your family. You cannot go to prison. I won't allow it. Hawk, do you hear me? I won't let you be a martyr to some cause. You'll stay here. We'll work this out. I think you should take your son home. That is going to take care of you. Are you aware the church views this as a mortal sin? I am. Oh, cool. We're gonna go back but to But I don't us. know how love can be a sin. Yeah, like, what do you have to say, priest, to that? Are you willing to give this love to God as a gift? I can try. Okay, he's being honest in the confessional. Interesting. Oh, cool. Okay. I was wondering about this. Uh, hi. My car broke down up the road away. I was wondering if I could I know who you are. He drove our daughter to her riding lesson. May I use your phone? It's important. Mr. Sickler, it's Tim Laughlin. I don't know what Hawk has told you, but I want to turn myself in. Yes, I know what it means. <sighs> oh, wow. We haven't seen this in a minute. I think we're jumping. The bus stop. I'll be there. Thank you. You've been staying at Hawk's cabin. It was wrong. I'm sorry. You have a beautiful family. Years ago, you wrote my husband a letter. You slipped it under the door of his apartment. Do you remember? Of course he does. Yes. I burned it. 
He never saw it. Shit, what did it say? Interesting. Dear Hawk. Perfect. I went into the army to get away from you. I thought time and distance would help, but it hasn't. I still love you, but I'm hoping to find something else. Maybe a deeper faith someday. Tim. Probably would have did the same thing. Are you the only one who matters? What? Okay, so we're back. How dare you bring that man into our lives? Look, it doesn't mean anything. Don't insult my intelligence. He's on the run from the law. He's not a criminal. He's an activist. He's wanted by the police, and you helped him hide, Hawk. Do you know what you risked? All we've built together, your career, my life, our children's lives. You married me. If you can't give me all your love, give me enough respect to keep whatever this is out of our home. Oh my god. What's he gonna do? Anything? No. Watch your head. Watch your head. Hi. I don't have a lot of time. Come in. How's your father? He's hanging on. I'll be there as long as he needs me. And then? Go back on the road. Chicago, Detroit, then down south. I want to see if anything's changed in this country since Dr. King's murder. If anything's ever going to change. When do you leave for San Francisco? Day after tomorrow. How about a kiss goodbye? I don't like goodbyes. And you said goodbye a long time ago. That was a How about a kiss then? Joe Banzer. Marcus. Guess we're both growing up. I feel like I'm a hundred years old. Nice toss, bud. How you feeling? Did your friend tell you? Yeah, don't do that again. I hear you're a poet. I didn't even know it. He tell you that too? Question is why you didn't. You'd think it's stupid, and it probably is. It isn't. I'd like to read some of your writing. Do you know that I love you beyond measure? I'm not gonna tell your mom about the acid. Or the other stuff. Just do better. Okay? Dad? Yeah. Are you I think there's something wrong with me. <gasps> oh, no. Come here, buddy. No. There's nothing Wait. wrong with you. If he lost the kid, I really yeah. hope it's not. Oh, shit. I think You're he gonna might. be fine, son. We're all gonna be fine. Okay, now I'm a little scared that because he said that there's something wrong with him, Jackson, that just made me tie into them losing a kid. I assumed it was, like, another kid. Like, they tried for a baby. I don't really know, but I really hope it doesn't go there. I hope that was about the dad. I really just hope it doesn't go there. I really like that this episode, we didn't see the McCarthy and Roy stuff. It was very much about their family. This has been an emotional roller coaster. The toxicity is insanity. I really like seeing Jackson and Tim, how they're like unique, like that was really adorable. I knew Lucy wasn't gonna be squeaky clean either. And honestly, I think it's okay at this point, right? I don't know. All right, guys, I think there's only two more episodes, so the next video will be the final. I hope you guys have been enjoying my reaction, even if it's not aligning with your reaction completely, 100%. That wouldn't be normal. That wouldn't be fun. I hope you guys respect me. I respect you. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. It's Billy Bitch. <sighs> Hello fellow Slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to episodes 7 and 8. I'm filming 8 tomorrow. The only thing I know about this one ahead is they go to Fire Island, which I'm from New York, but I've never been. I think it's because I roll with the lesbians, but I'm sure there's some lesbians over there, right? 
I feel like if I had like a big, well, I'm just not a partier like we know. They go to Fire Island and apparently to bring tissues. I'm really, I don't know. It's, I'm a hard bitch. Like I'm not gonna cry, Ugh, but I don't know. Stop. Like I've seen like the paparazzi photos or like the BTS photos of them at the beach. So I'm sure it's this one. This one's gonna be so cute. I'm really excited, but I'm also sad. This is like a mini series, right? This is the end. If you'd like to watch the more uncut reaction, check out my Patreon. Link will be below. 1978. I wonder if we're gonna... Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor oh, Harvey... also, you guys let me know that a senator did commit suicide, which is a so morbid and so creative. Damn, is all I have to say. Damn. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Wait, isn't there that movie called Milk? I wonder if that's related, because I know that's gay. I don't know. Shit. I never saw it. That was six months ago. Tim, you are not serious about going. I owe my parents a visit. Fire Island's a ferry right away. If White gets off, this city is going to explode. I need you here. Not chasing after your long lost whatever he is. To this is so a interesting. Well, the tragedy is you holding on to him. I sleep in the same Okay, bed. so it wasn't the dad's death. Oh my God, is Jackson dead? I was sick through both my pregnancies. You worry too much. Would you prefer a parent who doesn't care? Both my parents care, but one of them is here and one isn't. Drink up, this you is need such your an calcium. interesting era for them. That must be Mark. Hello, someone named Tim Laughlin. Tell him Hawk isn't here. He asked for you. Yeah. This is late, but I want to say I'm sorry for your loss. I sent a card. We got it. Thank you. Hawk been in touch. He called late at night when he's been drinking. Two months ago, I gave Hawk an ultimatum. Do something about his drinking or find somewhere else to live. He left. I don't even know where he is. Somewhere in New York. Mr. Laughlin. Call me Tim. Mr. Laughlin, I can't worry about Hawk. I have a pregnant daughter. I think he's in trouble. I want to see him. Are you asking for my permission? Maybe. He is in trouble. <sighs> Hawk is gonna be so happy, right? Hawk, company. I'm sorry, nothing happening down there anyway. Would you like a drink? A beer, if you have one. You'll be down in a minute. You don't look like a priest. You look more like a lumberjack. Or a lesbian. <laughs> a lesbian lumberjack. I'm a clinical social worker. So he's over Sorry I'm late, I God. got off to fair. Pay no attention to these hyenas, they don't bite. No. Uh, I wanted more of a, like, a reaction. Hi, Skippy. Did Call he know that he was coming? You invited me, remember? How long has it been since you two have seen each other? A few years. Eleven. Wow. How about those men? <laughs> Baseball players have the best asses. I'm so gay. <laughs> Hawk hates the G word. Gay. I prefer homosexual. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? It's more accurate. For me, at least. Homo from the Latin for man, which I am, and sexual, which I am as well. When you can get it up. <laughs> homosexual is a clinical term. It implies we're suffering from an illness that needs to be cured. I have clients who have been sent to psych wards given electroshock therapy. At least we chose the word gay for ourselves. Viva la gay revolution. <laughs> what is for dessert, my love? Twinkies. And then we're gonna go out. Kill some homosexuals. Pardon? You're from San Francisco. No. Did you know Milk? Yeah, everybody did. He was... I bet that's he was that a movie. Let me know. I'll be right back. Excuse me. He needs to see a doctor. You can tell him. Hey, enough of this senior citizen jazz shit. Uh. Hawk. I'm fine. Let me... I'm fine. Oh my god, this is like the scene reversed. But not that bad. Gastritis from alcohol. Does he ever talk about Jackson? Who? His son. Oh my Hawk God. doesn't talk about his family. Jackson died about six months ago. Heroin overdose. You didn't know. Oh my God, that was like cute one second, and now he became like a drug addict. Like the LSD, like we were all like laughing, right? Or was it just me? Oh my God. It was supposed to be funny in the moment, I think. Of course I knew. Oh. Mm. Hey. A lot of journalists and pundits claim to be object. Objectivity oh, is, is a way beautiful. of burying the truth. Anyone? 
All this attention given to Dan White is total hypocrisy. Mm, Harvey deserved better. Harvey? Guess you two were pretty close, huh? Wow. <laughs> Dan White was a Vietnam vet. Imagine serving your country as a soldier, a firefighter, a police officer, and watching your hometown get taken over by hippies and queers. Adam. What? That's where we'll leave it all. Jerome, can I talk to you? You still haven't handed in your midterm. Oh Everything God, okay at home? Why didn't you say head. anything just now? Shut Adam down. You're middle-aged, you're unmarried in San Francisco. Now this conversation is inappropriate. Just... Curious because you're still wearing the same clothes you wore on Wednesday and frankly, you smell. You wanna talk about it? Ugh, poor hockey. Oh, this is the scene though. Oh, I'm just so sad. Are we gonna flash back to it? Like, not that specifically, but I don't know if I could handle the scenes. This is shot so beautifully, the show. Who's Tim Laughlin? A friend of your father's. Why? You've been quiet ever since he called, and I've never seen you drink in the daytime. I guess I've picked up some of your father's bad habits. A long time ago, Jackson mentioned a man. Jackson called him dad's special friend. Your father has a lot of friends. He's very popular. Mom, please. Please what? Your father's not here, Kimberly. I am. If you want to know about your father's relationship, you'll have to ask him about it. If you can find Great it. response. Surprised you have the energy for a swim. Swim every day. Run too. As proof of what? That I'm still alive, I guess. Are you working? Radical. My reward for years of faithful service to the diplomatic corps. <laughs> hey, I'm really glad you're here. You insisted. Usually drunk. Drunk or not, I meant it. And while you're here, I have a little business proposition for you. What kind of business? I'll tell you tonight, over dinner. We had the place to ourselves. I am cooking, believe it or not, in your honor. It's like the first time Fuck. all over again. Let's go for a run, huh? Say the island, parts they don't talk about in the brochures. I race you. Well, I warn you, I do aerobics. Hey! Woo! <laughs> get my breath. What? Magical forest. <laughs> Maybe we should go. Okay. Oh, they're gonna join. Just like right. church. If there's ever gonna be a time that I do something like this, it's gonna be exactly like this. Oh, okay. I take it back. <laughs> no. He's stressed about work and thinking about the kid. Where are you? Yeah. Because you're not on. here. Sorry. It's, it's on not your because mind. of Frankie. Or someone. Am I going to have someone? to go through this again? How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Hmm? You're smoking again. Is it happening again? No. And he's going to get annoyed. Hmm. That's not why. I'm worried about one of my students. He was called out today for admiring your pal Harvey. Don't talk about Harvey like he's And some I kind of didn't do anything about it. I let it happen, and I feel like shit, and that's why my dick can't get hard for you right now. And I think he's homeless on top of it. Well, why didn't you help him? To keep my job. I work at a state university. Typical of you. Hey! You went from slinging drinks in gay bars to hanging out hugs in the Castro. I live and work in the real world. Do you know what I did today? I added four more names to our suicide watch list. That's not real enough for you. Two white men get shot and the whole world stops. Excuse me. I have to suck it up and fight for respect every day. Like I have to fight for respect in my own home? Jesus. What do you want from me? That's a good question. Let me know when you have an answer. When I got out of prison after a year and a half, thank you. I followed Frankie and Marcus to San Francisco, got my counseling degree, and decided to live a completely honest life. Completely? Out of the closet, even to my family. Did they call in an exorcist? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my mother prays every day for my eternal soul, but I'm happy, more or less. What about you? I'm getting by. As long as Craig supplies you with everything you need. Don't be jealous of Craig. How's your family? I'm not good for them. I ruined Kimberly's baby shower. I was drunk. I knocked over the goddamn gift table. And when she looked at me, I was always her hero. <laughs> we missed so much. We don't have to keep missing it. I'm seeing someone. <sighs> okay. His name's Arthur. What does Arthur do? He's a poet. You're mm -hmm. laughing at mm -hmm. him. You're, la you're laughing. No. Nope. All right. What is this business you want to talk about? Let's have another drink. You went to a lot of trouble to get me here. 
What do you want? What do you want? Hawk, it's about this house. I want to put the deed in your name. You want to what? I'm not saying you're going to move in, but we could meet up if you make up for lost time. Can't they, like... You can't just give me just your house. be together or not? Why not? I doubt you have assets, so someday this house will be yours. Are you planning to kill yourself? No. <laughs> That's what it sounds what like. Say, You're settling you... your affairs. What? No. I'm, you I'm, I'm gonna have give a you family. Something. They don't need this place. You want to hide this house from them because it's on gay fire island. Oh my god. And you plan to keep on kidding, lying man. about yourself uh, yeah, even it. when you're dead. And when are we going to talk about Jackson? No, you don't. Do you want to know what I see in Craig? He doesn't judge me. I don't. You are nothing but judgment. St. Tim the judgment. fucking it's holy. Like... It's love. Where are you going now, the meat rack? We locals call it the rack. I might end up there. I'm sure you don't want to come considering what a fucking self-righteous bore you've turned into. Tensions are running high in San Francisco as members of the gay community are hoping that justice is served for one it of their own. It is that all. movie. I should watch that movie. <laughs> Can he, like, stop dressing like this? On my way out, I'll tell Hawk you're stealing from him. I can't need to steal from Hawk. Is this him? The son? What is he doing? Yeah. You didn't know about him, did you? The son, was he like Hawk? He's completely different. And exactly the same. <laughs> I was gonna say... Hiding himself. The drugs you give Hawk, you know you could kill him. If I don't give him a couple of seconds all at night, he takes four or five. It is the same with the coke. I control the supply so he doesn't overdo it. And the best fuck he has ever had. Or so he tells me. I try to take care of him. I do the best I can. What are you doing, asshole? You're leaving? Hey, skip. <laughs> you had a wild time, remember? Skippy. What? That's Tim. What of us now? Oh my god, let's go. Where's Craig? The best he's ever had. Oh, shit. She said, I'm going to learn today. If I was a key, where would I be? Call center. Can you hold a minute? Can I help you? Can I talk to someone? Mr. Laughlin is in New York. One more question. What kind of services or um, who are your clients? We're a nonprofit agency providing services primarily for the gay and lesbian community. I'm sorry, I have to go. Can I ask what this is about so I can find the right person for you to talk to? Health Center. I want to talk to someone now. I know. Please, take a seat. I'll try. Health Center. Oh, Spring was never waiting for us, dear. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize these lyrics amazing. Travesty. What are you doing here? I came to walk you home. I'm going downtown with everybody else. There are cops all over the place. Tomorrow is Harvey's birthday. Happy birthday, Harvey. Babe, babe, babe. This party's for whites. If you go out there, have cock, who do you think they're gonna swing at first? Do you even look in the mirror when you shave? Because I have news for you. You are a big chocolate gay man. Everyone is meeting up at the elephant walk later. If you can find your balls by then. Don't get messed up in this shit. They're not worth it. I saw him watching in the background. 
natural. I'm only about peaceful protesting. I mean, I really don't like a protest, but if like you're gonna get beat up, it's it's not all right. Craig says you went home with someone. That's a lie. You guys made it to stay. Gus, hey, Jack, come on, Gus, stop, stop, hey, 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 hey. Like, don't have. I don't like this. I would never, but I'm here for the scene, I guess. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. Tim is so hot. Like, my thing is, like, I could just never give Craig that moment. I would never give my good self to him. I mean, he was in his wallet. You're fucking dirty. Please don't go into the bed with him, but... It's hotter. <laughs> Please, do this for me. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Come on, I just need to. But like, why can't you? <laughs> Like, if I was Tim, I would be like, why am I standing there? Like, shouldn't I be the one? No. I'm sorry if I'm killing the mood for you guys, but, or like, do, um, like, I should never do this. What? What did you do? What did you do? I wanted to know you. What I wanted you to see him. I wanted to see yeah, him. No fucking I will fucking kill you! Stop! 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 Oh god, you can't be my boy, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> let me die. <laughs> Please let me die. No, oh, I can't do that, I can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Separated at City Hall. That queen can scrap. Tell me about it. We live together. Hey, let me get a clean rag. Ow! One swig. <clears throat> What's going on with you? Hmm? Living in the street. I don't think I get my ass whooped at home. I couldn't take the questions. Told him I'm gay. Said it right to my father's face. I did not like that scene before. I could never understand, like, why that would even be okay to do in front of Hawk. Like, like I know Hawk was doing it for him. I'm just, like, I'm trying to understand the, the over-sexualized gay culture in general. Is it because Hawk... No, Hawk was kissing him. Like, I just don't understand why they're not having sex. I don't know, I would never be a literal side bitch like that. But that was a hard scene to watch following it. What is there to even say? He's obviously so messed up in the head. Oh, God. I wanted to tell my dad before he died, but... Man, your generation, you're afraid to tell the truth. I just, I can't live like that. I won't. Listen. I wanted to write, do my part for the black community, and I wanted Frankie. I wanted both. 
Maybe I wasn't marching in the streets for gay rights, but I've loved the man for 20 years and lived with the consequences. Do you have any idea how much fucking courage that What the fuck? Like, not even sick, just like a drug overdose. Like, holy crap. Like, it was so sudden. Like, I was assuming he was going to be sick, and then he died. Kimberly, there are things about your father I don't understand. But I loved the life we made together. So I did what women of my generation were taught to do. I closed my eyes to things I didn't want to see. You and your father were so close. I always thought of Jackson as mom. My sweet boy. Maybe that wasn't right. Mom, if the baby's a boy, I'd like to name him Jack. Is that all right? I think that would be love. Um. My mom's little brother tragically passed in a car, in a car accident just before his second birthday, and his name was Billy. So I really feel that. I tried everything to get him clean. Therapy, methadone, AA for addicts. You know, at times we thought we found the right thing. You know, he'd he stay clean, get excited about his music, his writing, his future. And then he'd disappear again. He'd come back sick, sorry, promising to stop. But he wouldn't touch alcohol. And you want to know why? Because that's what I did. And the thing he wanted most was not to be me. We don't know why people become addicts. You know. He always knew I was lying about everything. Okay, you lied, but you didn't lie about everything. Did you love him? So much. And that love was real. Your wife and your daughter loving you. That is real. Hawk, you have to stop trying to kill yourself. Your family needs you. Don't you need me, Skippy? I have you. Dirty cops took off their badges. They just came to break heads. Are you okay? I'm fine. Well, now they know. Know what? We're not gonna lie down and take it anymore. You're beautiful. It's after to midnight. To Harvey. To Harvey. Harvey. To Harvey. Angry gays attacking City Hall and setting police cars on fire. Bad violence police is not getting the answer. Revenge. The violence continued for over six hours, stretching from City Hall. We think we've won our freedom, that we're liberated. And then something like this happens and you realize that to many people in this country, our lives are worthless. Fuck those people. We're sorry to see you go. No, I'm needed at home. Think Hawk's gonna do better. Or try, at least. We'll keep an eye on him. Maybe I shouldn't care so much. My darling, there will be people that will say, you must get over him if you want to be happy. And they will be right. But it will also be the stupidest thing anyone ever says to you. I love logic. <laughs> It's just a little morning pick me up. <sighs> Where are you going? I'll wait outside. Walk you to the ferry. It meant nothing to you. Everything we said last night. What is wrong with me? Skip me. What is wrong with this? This is not about you. Why can I not stop believing anything you say? If this is what you want, fine. If you want to die, go on. Fucking die. Your wife and your daughter have already buried a son and a brother, and they're going to have to bury you. But you don't care because you're so fucking selfish. Do not lay a hand on him, Hawk. My life on you. No, don't go. No, please. Hawk. I'm done no. with you. I'm free. Skippy. Go. Get, get out of here. Go! Fucking go! Fuck. I'm just thinking about, like, the present day that we're in. Like, of Skippy sick and stuff. Oh, he's like, he said that he was, like, sober between drinks, but he does get cleaned up to a point and he makes things a little better with his family oh my god and the show starts him having a party for his grandkid just having a full circle moment this show has been so amazingly written and done once again like this is a peaceful protest i like this hello it's daddy Hi. Hi. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Daddy, I miss you. I'm coming home. Okay. Okay. 
You'll tell your mother? Of course. We have a lot to talk about. I know. Oh, okay. Flash forward. Mr. Fuller, I'm afraid Tim has had another seizure. What do you mean? How bad is it? It was severe, but they were able to pull him out of it. He's in his room. Thank you. So I wonder if we'll ever know really, but my brain just went to like, okay, now we're in the present day. Like, obviously I would assume comes clean to the daughter, but I know that he's still with Lucy. So I hope he came clean to the daughter and they're just like living with it, which is horrible too. You're really rough about Jackson. And yeah, being named after someone like that was a pretty relatable special moment and I know like me being someone named it's like really it means a lot like and I'm so glad to be Billy we're gonna like wrap up the McCarthy and stuff or is that irrelevant now like you guys know how I am with the politics side of it this one more than ever like I'm kind of like wow like maybe I should read a book no I'm kidding I can't read a book on this, but I want to definitely learn a little more, but I just, I don't want to be sad at the same time. All right, guys, I do this to escape life. Like these, I don't really react to things that are this real, as you could look at my other shows that I'm reacting to. I think I'm going to react to True Detective randomly. So I'm only saying that here because you guys may be interested in that. Let me know. It's Billy Bitch. And we're back with episode 8, the finale. Episode 7 was a tough one. I can't imagine this not being tough as well, but only one way to find out. Okay, I feel like we're gonna be in the present, right? Their present. Oh my god. Hurry up. You don't know what that's about to be. It's me. It's been a rough 48 hours. I'm here. Where? San Francisco. I didn't hear from you. I was worried. Well, is everything all right? Are the kids okay? No, nothing like that. Everyone's fine. But she actually wants to be here you. for him. I am worried. Wow. Oh my god. That is like so nice. I would love this for them. They've really been brutal to each other. More blame on Hawk, of course. But for them to come together as friends and like family is really nice. Like you don't really see their love for the each house? other. The movers. All that's on hold. Because this means a lot for I him. See. We need to talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe he really didn't go home and have a talk, that deep of a talk, or just like saying like he's committed to dedicating rights advocates to sign legislation aimed at preventing AIDS patients from being fired or denied housing. There is too little evidence that these groups face Thank you. It's like I hate the news. Seeing my friend this afternoon, the fundraiser who knows the governor's chief of staff. It's that meeting that you wanted. I woke up last night and I didn't know where. Was. I knew I was in a hospital, but I couldn't remember. I didn't know who I was. Timothy David Laughlin, that adorable Catholic boy from Staten Island. <gasps> it's not true what they say about vodka. What? What? I'm an adorable boy from Staten Island. How did I not know he's supposed to be from Staten Island? Not to mention, how did I not know that he's actually British for real life? I just found that out. I watched them on Drew Barrymore. So cute. I didn't know that he was from Staten Island. So that flashback was him in Staten Island? How did I not? Did we know this? How did you guys not tell me? I guess you guys don't know that I'm from Staten Island. <laughs> well, you do now. I can smell it on you, Island. And I'm literally a Catholic boy from Staten Island. Timothy, that adorable Catholic boy from Staten Island. 
It's not true what they say about vodka. I can smell it on you. Ten in the morning. I'll let you know how it goes with my friend. You're welcome, by the way. What's this? Addiction and resuscitate order. There's a chance I could come out of the next seizure on life support. The social worker thinks I might want to consider. Well, I'll be back. What can I get you? Some fear throw it up. Popsicle? Sure. Grape. Got you pegged for cherry. Lucy's in town. She asked if she could see you. Tim, I need to change your ID. Too early for me. I'm not going to dog right him for needing liquid courage right you now. The Fairmont Hotel. I mean, it's not okay, but... The one in San Francisco. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. You can smoke in here, sir. Christ. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Jerome has the virus. What? He hasn't told me, but uh, he's been cold to me lately. I see him whispering with Frankie. So Frankie who knows it didn't tell Why me. won't he tell me? Boys. What about him? Well, they never want to talk about what's eating at them. It's up to you to make the first move. That's Boy, very true. Late. The kid was just figuring himself out when it was spreading. And here I was, finally settled and faithful to Frankie. And you? What? Your test. Negative. Do we believe him? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, bulletproof. It's always the guys like this that will Why? live till 100. I mean, love that for Hawk, love that for those people. You're having a big day. Getting settled in your new study? Mm, this will always be your father's study. What's this? A telegram. It just came for you. I didn't realize they lived in the house. They figured it was their own house. Anything to worry about? No. Just the boss dogging me on my day off. Sweetheart. I just said that I wasn't going to dog him. And he just used that term. Interesting. I can't believe Happy Tim is from Staten Island and I nice. didn't know. What the hell? That would have like changed everything for me. I did say I was Tim. A adorable Catholic boy from Staten Island. Mr. Fuller. Corporal Laughlin, you broke your promise. Promise you won't write, you wrote. You sent a telegram, very succinct. Hawk, the Hungarian refugees, do something. Soviets hadn't invaded Hungary, I might never have heard from you. I was stuck behind the desk of Fort Polk. I couldn't do anything, but I knew someone at the State Department who could. Still fighting the anti-communism cause. Yes, I didn't expect a job offer. But you don't have the job yet. I love that they showed him reaching out for the first time. I figured they were going to kind of just let that like plot line go. I'm happy we get to see how they ended up talking to each other post the Don't Write era. Come on. When Congress passed the Relief Act, we set up this office to process as many Hungarian refugees as we can. How many positions are you looking to fill? Right now, just five. Your application may take some time to process, but a veteran with your experience shouldn't have any trouble getting a security clearance. You have a better than average chance of being selected considering you've been recommended by Mr. Fuller. He tells me you used to work for Senator McCarthy. That's right, yeah. Those cowards who censured him in 54 were wrong. History will show. He's a great American. Looks like that went well. Getting security clearance. That's McLeod's department. The M unit. Yeah, you don't have to worry about McLeod. The M unit's still in business, but they're running out of steam. Hey, excited about the job? I am. I don't know how to thank you. I could think of a few ways. And that's not what I meant. The last time you and I, I had to join the army to get away from you. What's next? The Foreign Legion. Thanks for your help. See you. Peace. Bye. Yeah, I'll let you know when I hear from Osborne. Thanks. Just right over there. So they never Thank had you. sex again. Yeah, you right? Right. Thank you. What? He's kicking. Can I? Don't be afraid to touch. He? You sure it's a boy in there? I have a hunch. Doesn't every man want a boy? No. I just want you and the baby to be healthy. Ma'am? Right here. <laughs> Going to town there. Excuse me. Where would you like this? Right there. It's perfect. We'll get the rest. Thank you. I'm writing speeches for Representative Sullivan. These are his own. Hmm? She must be a hero. I bitch. thought she, she was going to be a bigger and part in this show. I guess she was like Best heavy storyline in the beginning. I am no longer on the federal government's payroll, so no risk of the FBI. Really. Remember, I thought like the whole storyline was going to be them two pretending to be dating. And none of that happened. I mean, thank God it didn't. I really expected her to have a bigger role in this but it makes sense i guess that she doesn't have you found something i've applied for a position in the refugee relief office at state yes he recommended me don't worry he's changed 
Do people change? I have. Stopped worshiping false idols. McCarthy, Bishop Sheen, even you know who. Aren't you proud of me? That's so cute. I got a letter last week from Caroline. She's married, living in Ohio with her husband. That's oh her baby. God. It's hard to be happy about that, right? I wonder sometimes when it all happened. If I had offered to leave DC with her and find some cottage somewhere, we could have been those two eccentric old ladies that all the busybodies in town whisper about. The one with all the cats and no husbands. Have you read The Catcher in the Rye? Mm -mm. There's a line in it. Something like, if a kid wants to grab for the gold ring, you have to let him do it. If they fall, they fall. What's the gold ring? I don't know if Salinger would agree, but I think it's love. I'm here to see a patient, Timothy Laughlin. Room 511, straight ahead. Love the fit. May I? This is so interesting, guys. Like, what? How are you? I have KS, recurring seizures, and my hair is falling out. What else? Um, uh, my social worker suggested I sign a do not resuscitate order. How are you? The government ought to do more about this. It's terrible. They could do more, but people like you would have to pay higher taxes. I don't really understand his attitude. Like, I'm actually shocked. I know where he's coming from, but the fact that she's here means that she cares, right? So, but people like you would have to pay higher in taxes as if whether she agrees or not, it's not up to her. I can't take the wokeness. My father used to argue for a national health care system. He believed government should take care of its citizens. So do I. It's not always wise to judge someone on appearances. You're right. This hospital is not what I expected it to be. It's the only one like it in the country, where people with AIDS are treated like human beings. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fuller, why are you here? I'm so bothered by his attitude towards know. her. You mean something to my husband. I suppose I had to see you so I would know like, the shit that he put her no. through, like, what? How much you mean to him? Shouldn't you ask him? Right. That wouldn't get you anywhere. No. My time with Hawk was rushed, with years in between. You had him most of his life. But you were always there. I could never get away from you. It's not a contest. Of course it is. It always has been. Then why didn't you leave him? Because we had a good life. And children. And then when Jackson... You don't want to hear this. Please. When Jackson died, it was so unbearable. The only comfort I had was knowing that Hawk understood that suffering, felt the same way. If I had had to bear that alone, I wouldn't have lived through it. No, neither would have he. I should be going. Mrs. Fuller, thank you for coming to see me. I feel like I miss something. I'm so disturbed by his attitude. Let me relax. Power. Friends aim like, high. Like, I Raise was so gutted and like, wow, she's coming to see him. Obviously, this is a toxic, weird-ass situation, but she's coming to see you. She cares. And then you're going to say thank you like that? Like, the math isn't mathing. Like, what 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 like she didn't do one thing to him but he did everything to her i mean she made the choice to stay with hawk and it's really comes down to hawk i'm so annoyed i'm so annoyed like i th really thought that was actually in some way special that she came to see him raise a lot of money for the governor how do you know this friend he's actually uh, lucy's friend he just he wants to have a civil conversation about this disease. It's killing an awful lot of people. Yeah, but it's killing the wrong people. Or the right people, depending on how you look at it. How do you look at it? Helping kids with cancer gets you votes and donations. Oh my god. Fags with AIDS. Who gives a shit? Besides, he made a choice. Nobody chooses to get a terminal disease because they wanted to fuck somebody. God knows you put your dick in plenty of holes back in the day. Are you taking this personally? Maybe. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sorry. Lucy is just, uh, I'm trying to keep the peace at home. Happy wife, happy life. It's a big ask, Hawk. Nobody wants to talk about freaking AIDS. Yeah, on the rocks. Mm hmm Two of them. Just a bill, baby? Mm-hmm. Oof. She's young. 
can I say, I like it tight. Yeah, you know, that reminds me of that congressman's aide at the Republican convention. What was that, 1980? Oh, didn't security take her out of your room in the middle of the night because the two of you were shit-faced and making so much noise? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Did Linda ever find out about that? That's low, huh? Even for you. I'll see what I can do to help Lucy's friend, but don't get your hopes up. Thousands appeared to pay their respects to Senator Joseph McCarthy, who died of hepatitis at Bethesda Naval Hospital on Thursday. And FBI Director Hoover were in attendance. Tomorrow, McCarthy's body will be moved to St. Matthew's Cathedral. Jesus. Sorry. What the fuck? I have such chills, I don't know. Mr. Fuller's friend. What's her dumbass name? Right Addison, yeah. Cock suck. You don't belong here. Get out of here. Girl's a fucking lunatic. Hunt should be here. Come on. Lucy made me give up my apartment, so I use this place. We inherited it after one of Lucy's great uncles passed. Plan to sell in the fall after we've settled with the baby. What do you do here exactly? Read, listen to music. What a man does when he gets a chance to be alone. Alone. I'm the epitome of marital fidelity. Can I get you a beer? Sure. Well, this is probably There's the milk. last time they had sex. You change your mind? Well, going to be. Charles Mingus. Yeah, Lucy hates jazz. It's Brahms or Cole Porter at our house. Although I suspect when I'm not home, she puts on that Elvis character. Cheers. You're happy. Happy within reason. So tell me what's bothering you. Can't be grieving for Tail Gunner Joe. At the end, I saw McCarthy for what he was. So why do I feel like I've lost someone? Because you knew him. And you're a decent person. He believed in something. He had ideals. And even if they were misguided, he held them with passion. Yes, seeing sides. I like that. Does the bathroom work? Yeah, it's down there. Can cut it with a knife. Or a deck. Pardon. The epitome of marital fidelity. Try. You bring men here. He'd be the first. Don't believe you. Shut up and drink your milk. I hate milk. Or else I would find the sexier. Oh god. I mean hot, but <laughs> the army made a man out of my skippy. Yeah, I did. Oh. It would be sweet tea. He's all grown up now. I am. I want you to fuck me. Loves that. Oh my god, we're gonna see it. And of course we're gonna see it. so funny because I say that I only top if I'm in love with you. That's hot. I'll check with Osborne about your application. Is that a bribe to get me to come back? Do I have to bribe you to come back? No. I knew this was going to happen the minute I opened your letter. That is so dope. Oh my god. That's the ultimate like, what's the word? Skippy fucking him is everything. It says everything. It is everything. Leave a message for me at the Y. I'll meet you here whenever you want. Better. I'll leave the key on the frame above the door. Come when you like. I promise I won't be any trouble. I don't have any expectations. I have plenty. I can't find it, Hawk. I think it's at the cleaners. It's okay, Luce. I'll wear the light blue. I might have to give it a quick press. What? I'm going to give it a quick press. Thanks, sweetheart. <sighs> I'm like not over that scene. Like, yes, Daddy Tim. Put him in his motherfucking place. May I come in? Of course. Hi. Hi. 
And yes to hockey loving it, obviously. Would you like a soda? Oh, right. Let me get... Okay. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> Justice for Lucy. For real, though. I'm like a mental patient. Sorry, guys. I'm not like other reactors. So... <laughs> So you, you talked to Tim? I did. I'm sorry that I've been away for so long. I shouldn't have left you hanging. I know that the move has been stressful. If we have to, we'll push things back a week or two. I'll let the office know. I'll make some excuse. I'm not moving to Italy. What are you talking about? I'm not moving. The kids are in D.C. My life is there. I have to go to Italy. It's my job. I know, but I'm not going with you. I can't. Okay, th then I, I won't go. You don't understand. I'll put in for retirement. Hawk. And you and I can... Hawk, when you first came out here, I didn't mind. Tim means something to you. You deserve a chance to say goodbye. And I thought, God forgive me, when he dies, it will be over, the two of you. And you and I can have our life together in a way we never had it. Free of him. But it'll never be. <clears throat> but now I know. It will never be over. I'll fly home tomorrow, if that's what you want. That's not Today, no. whatever you need. No, Hawk, stop. You have unfinished business here. You need to see it through. Come home when you're ready, but when you do, I don't think I'll be there. For the airport, I moved up my flight. I will stay with Kimberly and Mark for a well, while. I'm not gonna throw away 30 years of marriage just like that. We have a family. Peace. Grandbabies. What about desire, the kind you had for Tim? Lucy. I have lived my whole life not knowing what it's like to be desired. Do you have any idea how lonely that's been? We're going to work this out. Goodbye, Hawk. He's losing everything at once, but like, it's really gonna be beneficial, of course. Oh my god, not this fucking That's kid. I... Run it back. Your ball. Jerome. Oh my Take god. Take it out. Oh, he's angry. What's going I can't on with you? do this, I can't. You've been avoiding me. I can't get more than two words out of you. It's just fucking play. No. What's going on with you? Tell me what's wrong. Nothing. You tell me what's wrong. Nothing. Cut the bullshit. I'm fucking positive. You happy now? Don't. It's about you. It's about me. Don't you understand that by now? It's so fucking stupid. It's my fault. I, I shouldn't have fucked around. I, I, I should have been more careful. <laughs> You're young. Fucking... You have the right to explore. You're black. In a country that I'm trying to convince you, you ain't shit. You're gay, and your own people may never accept you. But listen to me, and hear this. You're innocent. You are innocent. Say it. Go on. Say it. I'm innocent. You're innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. You're innocent. You're innocent. You're innocent. <laughs> Paul's a social one, believe it or not. Mm. Paul's a terrific dancer. Did we get the meeting? Doesn't look good. One or two gay couples in the class. No one cared. That's San Francisco. We were, we were babies when we met. We met in college and moved in together right away. Yes, I need more of this. really love each other. It's funny, when I get that job, we'll be colleagues. We'll see each other every day. This just reminded me that when Hawk first comes to San Francisco, Tim made it clear that he did something so wrong. And I just remembered that. And I'm seeing the look on his face, so... No, no, no. Skip it. You were making noises. I, I was worried. I'm okay. I'm cold. Hawk. Yeah. yeah. The do not resuscitate order. I'm not gonna sign that. If something happens to me, I want them to bring me back. I want to fight. Good. I'm glad. Oh my god. Look at the nurse. No, don't. better oh yeah <laughs> i feel like i'm fading away i'm disappearing a little every day oh i'm here uh, i got you come on dave uh, 
I can't get Lonigan to meet with your friend. Look, there's this thing, a fundraiser gala. I can get you a couple tickets. Lonigan will be there. I can arrange for you to have five minutes with him. Maybe he'll agree to see Lucy's friend at some point. At some point? No, that's not good enough. I promised him, Dave. I... You don't understand. I... I owe him. It's the best I can do. You said Lucy was in town. Bring her. Is Lucy still here? Skippy, I don't suppose you happen to own a tuxedo. Roy Cohn, the lawyer and right-hand man to the late Senator Joseph McCarthy, is dead. Cohn died today in Bethesda, Maryland, at the age of 59. The causes were a heart attack and complications from the HTLV-3 virus, which is thought to cause AIDS. The last two decades of his career were marred. Jeez. Roy Cohn died. Guess that fucker was human after all. Hmm. What do you think? Just about Tim's size. What? It's always been you. Me? You've always been the stronger one. Always. He told you. It's gonna be okay. I just don't wanna let him down. You won't, baby. We won't. Here. Do you think Hawk has any idea what he's getting into? Not a clue. Almost there. <coughs> there, you okay? There he is. Yeah. Big guy. There you go. Thank you. Is there any world where... Skippy's gonna be okay. What are you doing home? Oh, your mother left word for me. The doctor was here. I had a little scare, but it turned out to be nothing. Helen said you've been feeling ill all week. Exaggerates. I'm uncomfortable, but that's natural. And it's only a few hours a day. You never said anything. I tried you at the office, but you were out. Yesterday? Yesterday. And the day before. I'm fine. It's a woman's job to worry about the baby. You have your work, I have mine. Go on, go back to the office, shoot. All right. I'll see you at dinner then. Oh my God, the lighting. I'm sorry. He just leaves him, wow. Mr. Fuller, Senate Affairs. That's right. What can I do for you? <clears throat> what are we doing with this guy? It's about a fellow who's getting close to a job in the Hungarian Refugee Relief Program. His name? Timothy Laughlin. And the issue is? He's got a few problems in the area you once questioned me about. Osborne's office sent me this letter. I don't satisfy their security considerations. You know what that means. Somebody's told them to- shh, 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 calm down. I don't understand. I have lived a perfectly clean life in the army. There isn't a soul in Washington who knows. It was Hawkins. No, that's impossible. He came to see me last night. He wanted me to tell you that's why I invited you to lunch. He reported you to the M unit. Oh my God. I don't understand. I have chills I wanted to do it now before you got the job so there won't be an investigation. You will be banned from working for the federal government for the rest of my life. He knew how much I wanted that job. Why? You'd become inconvenient. No. That's not why, right? He isn't he's, like that. He is. He's scared that he would die, right? He is exactly like that. I have to see him. You can't. Lucy went into labor. They've been at Sibley Memorial all night. I was gonna say, does he bring him? What? It feels like we're on a date. Well, I should warn you. I may make a pass. The girl can hope, can't she? <laughs> How are we going to end this? Here's Dave. Oh, you ready? this is perfect. Hawk, Lucy couldn't make it, so I brought the friend I was telling you about. Oh. Dave Holm, Tim Loughlin. Nice to meet you. We're looking mm. forward to meeting Mr. Lonigan. Maybe even the governor, if he makes an appearance. I'm, I'm not sure Howard's here. He's right there. Oh, I don't want to interrupt him right now. Maybe later. I can't make any promises. He came all this way to meet Lonigan. Fine. We're not leaving. It's fine. Well, wait. I'm going to get some air. The governor's gonna veto the AIDS bill anyways. It's a waste of time. No hard feelings. None. Just to be clear. <laughs> Tim isn't Lucy's friend. He's my friend. He just got out of the hospital. I was there with him the whole time. I climbed into his bed and held him. Great party, Dave. You okay? Yeah. A long time ago, I did something to hurt you. Even being in your life hurt you oh. in some way. I spent most of my life waiting for God to love me. And then I realized the only thing that matters 
is I love God. I have loved you my whole life. You are my great, consuming love. And most people don't get one of those. I did. I have no regrets. Did you look at that? Hmm? In public, and the world didn't come to an end. <laughs> Jim. What are you doing here? I'll take your badge. Marcus is going inside with me. He needs your badge to get in. I don't understand. I knew Lonigan would refuse to see us, and we'd never get close to the governor. And then... I invited you to the gala. I mean, it was very convenient. <laughs> I think I've been used. A little. Give us a minute. Like whatever you're up to, and I, I don't want to know the details. I'll wait for you. You need to go home, where you belong. No, it's not. I want to stay. I have to fight this fight. That means letting go of everything else. And if you're around, I will not be able to let go. But I want to show up for go you. Go home, Hawk. Hey, Skippy. Promise you won't write? Mm -hmm. I won't. Is that their last time seeing each other? Governor would be in great work tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you will do everything you can to help keep it. Your help is essential in securing the gains we've made. Actual reality, act up, fight A. Excuse me, did I do something wrong? I got invited, then ignored. Oh, shit. Fullers, they just had a baby. One moment, let me go and check. Is he gonna see the baby and it's gonna bring him like, back to like what's right? Him to just walk away? Let's go. Governor Duke Major is great. Thousands! Californians with HIV have died. We're not dying from AIDS, dying from indifference. Our government is killing us. AIDS funding now. Our, Our government, government is, is killing us. us. AIDS FUNDING NOW! AIDS FUNDING NOW! I just wish they didn't have to destroy anything, cause like, I just don't want to give anyone any reason to not hear them. Lucy! How are we gonna wrap it up over here? You found him? It's beautiful. That was the name of one Once of the you episodes. Told me it really suits your friend. Yeah. As well. It does. Sweetheart. 
He wasn't my friend. He was the, he was the man I loved. <laughs> perhaps one of the most beautiful tragic gay love stories to date wow i really love them we've come such a long way and still have such a long way ahead of us as well i loved watching this with you guys thank you so much for recommending it to me a bunch of you told me about this the actors were so incredible it this was like so well done i am blown away by the whole thing oh we never got a follow-up with tim and Lucy, which is at this point, obviously, like, but was I, I don't think I was wrong about that. It just, I don't know. All right, Slayers, fellow travelers, it has been quite the journey. I'm so drained. I probably have so much more to say, but I hope you guys like this reaction. Please subscribe and look forward for some new content coming soon. And yeah, it's Billy Bitch.